Today I'll be showing you how to get this makeup look. I wanted to do something with purpose, but I didn't want it to be bold and intense. Just something soft and wearable. This is what I came up with. I hope you like it. And if you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and let's get started. Okay, so first, as always, I'm starting off with a primer. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Eyeshadow Base. And I'm buffing it all over my eyelid with a brush. And then I'm setting it with a nude eyeshadow. I'm also applying a white pencil just in the outer corner, so the purple eyeshadow that I'm going to apply in a while will come out more intense. And I'm diffusing the edges with a flat brush. From the Makeup Revolution Eat Sleep Makeup Repeat palette, I'm taking the eyeshadow code Magician and I'm packing it on top of that white pencil. Make sure you don't apply it to inside the lid area. We want to keep it just in the other corner. On a blending brush, I'm taking this eyeshadow from the Catrice Absolute Rose palette. I'm using it to diffuse those harsh lines and also as my transition shade. Once I make sure that everything is well blended, I'm applying one more layer of that purple so it's nice and intense. And once again I'm blending everything out. To add more depth to the eyes, I'm applying a small amount of a black eyeshadow just in the very outer corner of my eye. And with a small brush, I'm blending it into the purple. Then in the inner part of my eyelid, I'm applying this light pinky shade. Going back to that Makeup Revolution palette, I'm using the eyeshadow code Rayvon to highlight my brow bone. And in the tear duct area, I'm applying the eyeshadow called Rave Off. Under my lower lash line, I'm going to apply a white pencil. And then on top of it, that purple eyeshadow. I'm keeping it in the outer portion. I'm also going to add some black. Then it's time for eyeliner and I'm using this Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. I'm coating my lashes with mascara and after that I'm going to glue on some false lashes. But before that I'm going to run some white pencil in my waterline. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'm gonna see you guys soon. Bye!
so in today's video I'll be trying out something really cool and I really hope it works. Now we all know that there are so many eyeliner gadgets out there. There are eyeliner stamps, eyeliner stencils, but today I want to try out the eyeliner stickers. This is how they look and I just really hope that they won't be a fail. This could be perfect for those of you who are struggling with the eyeliner and not only, I mean, who doesn't want an instant eyeliner just without any effort. I want that. So let's go ahead and try them out. I got these from eBay and you can see that you're getting four styles. They have like two regular uh, winged eyeliners. In fact, this one is a little bit longer than this, so we're gonna try it out first. We have the thick winged eyeliner and something a little bit more, you know. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and see if it's gonna work. I'm not sure what glue they used for this. But they look like that. I'm gonna focus for you. This is how it looks and this is the side with the glue. And the other side is just a little bit more rough and matte. Time to get this on my eye. Maybe if I use tweezers or something it will be a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm just going to stick it on my eye. Oh. This is not starting well. It's stuck to itself. Okay, let's try again. Well, see, it's not that bad. It's hanging a little bit here. It doesn't really want to stick to my skin. See, when I close my eyes, it's like... <laughs> That's actually some really cool 3d eyeliner <laughs> okay let me just get this off i don't like how it looks and i'm gonna try to do the same but on the other eye so i'm placing the wing first and it's stuck to my tweezers okay so starting off with the wing and then adjusting the rest of it as i said i don't know what glue they're using but it's not good <laughs> Let me apply some lash glue. Maybe it works better. I'm gonna use my House of Lashes glue. This one is my favorite. I don't know, maybe the glue is not working because I already have some foundation on and it's quite hot in the room, but hopefully with lash glue it will work. I still have hopes for these things. Okay, that's a lot better. Wow, look at that. Okay, so I can't really feel it. I mean, maybe the wing right here and in the inner corner a little bit because my eye is falling there, but other than that, it's kind of comfortable. Oh, it, oh, I got that 3D eyeliner again. Maybe if I add some lash glue at the end, at the wing here. Okay, so I'm gonna be a little bit more smart for the other eye and I'm going to actually apply the lash glue directly on my eye. I'm not really precise with the lash glue and and then I'm going to add the sticker. Come on, okay. Oh, the wink is on. I'm gonna put some extra lash glue for the wink, I press, and I'm done. I'm really happy with how this looks, by the way. Let me just take you a little bit closer so you can see how it looks up close. Okay, so I'm really close to you, but this is how the one looks. This is the first that I, uh, I glue on, and this is how the second one looks. So now that I have a little bit more experience with these things, I wanna try out the thick wings, this one here. Let's go ahead and see how they look. So taking the lash glue, applying it on my eye. The glue that they have is kinda strong, to be honest with you, but it's not strong enough for me. Placing it very carefully. Oh no, oh no, ow, 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 ooh. Okay, mm, that's not good. Round two, placing it very carefully to my on my eye and then adjusting adjusting it to my eye. A 
something went wrong a little bit here, but that's okay. We're, we're, oh my god, I, that's annoying. We're on a good road. I think that this is too thick for my eye. And because it's thicker, it makes my eye look kind of funny. <laughs> no, I don't like this. I don't like the thick ones. I don't want to end up the video like that with no eyeliner sticker on my eye because that would mean that it was a fail and I don't want it to be a fail. So I'm giving it one last chance and I'm going to try to glow on the shorter version of the of the usual winged eyeliner. Lash glue. Ah. Oh. Ow. The good thing with this is that if you did any mistake, you can just unstick it and, you know, adjust it. Something that you can't do with the liquid eyeliner. Okay, time for the next one. I'm a pro now. See how fast I glue this thing on. Finally, the inner corner, which is probably the hardest part. I can say that now that I'm getting a little bit better with this, I can definitely tell that it's a lot faster than actually drawing a winged eyeliner. I have to be honest with you, these are really fun to play with, really fun to try out. I'm gonna add some liquid eyeliner just in the gaps and that's mainly on the roots of the lashes. I'm gonna finish up the look with some mascara. Oh, I have lash glue on my lashes. Uh, that's not good. Okay, so I remove it as much as I could and now I'm adding the mascara. I bet you never thought about that, but we have the eyeliner stickers, but the false lashes are actually the mascara stickers. That's so much more fancy name than just false lashes. Mascara stickers. Sounds so much better and just interesting. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm done with the application of the eyeliner stickers. Final thoughts, I think that they're super cool and I truly believe that they have a future in the, in the makeup industry but the whole concept, it needs a little bit more work. I understand that I got these from eBay and the quality is not the best. However, you can see how realistic it looks and the shape is kind of suitable for my eyes. When I blink or when I look down or up and stuff like that, I kind of feel that I, I have them on my eyes. It's not that it's nothing when your eyes, you definitely can feel that you have something on. But oh, you know, that's a really nice trick to save some time from, from your makeup routine. And honestly, I tried to glow on three pairs. And by the time that I was sticking the third one, I was already feeling that I know what I'm doing. So it's not that, it's not that difficult to to learn how to apply them. They're definitely gonna save you so much time and I'm not sure how they're gonna work if you have eyeshadow on your eyes. But if you're using some extra lash glue as I did, I don't think that there's gonna be a problem. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm so glad that the eyeliner stickers are not fail. They're something that you can actually wear. The only thing that may go wrong is if the shape of the eyeliner is not suitable for your eye. As you saw with the thicker version of the wing, it, it wasn't feeling right, it was too thick for my eye and it was making my eyes look really weird. And I also can't guarantee the quality of the glue that they're using, to be honest with you. So be careful with that as well. You can very easily find them on eBay, on Amazon, basically all over the internet. So yeah, I really want to know your opinion on the eyeliner stickers, guys. So let me know down in the comments what you think about. guys, Crispy here and today's tutorial is going to be on this makeup look. So the inspiration behind today's tutorial is the light warrior. So a light warrior is someone who doesn't dull their shine. It's someone who illuminates, gets rid of darkness, and is bold and powerful in being themselves. I believe 
believe that makeup is a very powerful form of self-expression and I think that when you do your makeup and you have that kind of me time that is also a way of um, exploring yourself and I think that's beautiful. This is actually a collaboration with CoverFX. I'm going to be using their custom enhancer drops and actually how this collaboration came about was they they saw me using their products in their videos and they said hey we have this idea we have this message that we want to send out to the community um, and we'd love for you to share it with everyone so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this look and let's get started on the tutorial so I'm starting out by using my J1 Jelly Pack Primer. This is my favorite. I've been using it in all my videos lately. Um, has anybody else tried it? I haven't heard anybody else talking about it, but I think it's amazing. Also, side note, my necklaces are from Irie Me Collection. It's my favorite jewelry brand. I'm always wearing their stuff. Um, I'll link it down below. They have so many cute, like dainty, <laughs> Lots of cool chokers and just overall like cool steez. Okay, this hair, cause I know y'all go on now. This is from Freedom Couture. It's purple, but it's kind of gray. But so I think I'm gonna make it more purple. It's a little bit more gray than I wanted. I love their hair. I think they have like the best wigs. Okay, so for my foundation, I'm going to be using Cover FX natural finish oil free foundation this is definitely a good one i've been using this for years all right so next let's apply some bronzer i'm going to be using max sun power okay so i just sent like the craziest ugly snapchat to my story on accident I meant to send it to my best friend and accidentally sent it to the whole, all of Snapchat. I deleted it like almost immediately, so I'm hoping no one saw it. Alrighty, let's move on to brows. I'm going to be using the Brow Definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the shade Medium Brown. First, I like to spoolie them. Oh wow, they're getting a little, they're getting a little grown right now, but I kind of like it. We're going to start by uh, filling in the front of the brow and I use this spoolie to soften it because I don't want it to be super, super dark. So I'm going for like a longer straight back brow today. So I'm really going to lift the arch up here. So for the eyeshadow, I want to do a purple crease, but I want to blend it up into like a warm brown shade or kind of like an orgy shade. So I'm going to take my Violet Voss, what is this? The Violet Voss Matte About You palette. I'm going to mix uh, Sweet Talk and Mesmerized and put this into the upper crease area. I'm taking a what, ugh, MAC 222 brush. This is super old and I believe it's stained because it's clean. Um, and we're gonna use this in the crease. I'm gonna be using this um, Urban Decay palette. This was their Basquiat collab and I'm using this color called Neo. It's a really cool purple shade. This brush is a little scary because it's just so small and packed tightly together, but let's see. Over here where I want it to fade up, I'm holding the brush at an angle so that the sides of the brush help me blend. I'm going to try and smooth that out. It's so weird once you get adjusted to one brush, like now this brush feels funny with me and I remember I used to use it all the time. I don't know if it was the brush or the eyeshadow, but just having a little bit of trouble getting it smooth. I'm gonna go back in with that shade Mesmerized. Oh yeah, that, mm. something was, something, something's been happening. Something. Ah! 
All right, you guys, I was a real MVP of the Hot Mess Express team this day because my mic became unplugged and I didn't realize, so I'm going to have to do voiceover for this little chunk of the video. So this is my first time using the Stila uh, Glitter Liquid Shadows. This blue color is called Into the Blue and I was just super impressed with these. Um, next, I'm using Diamond Dust and I put this on the center of the lid. I didn't even need to use a brush with it. You could just use the little applicator. It was really awesome. And I decided to go over one more time um, for a second layer because I wanted the middle of the lid to really pop. Next, I did the under eyes using my favorite Monica Dar C2 yellow powder. And I like using this brush because I alternate between the big side and the small side. And then I also used this to highlight and went down the center of the nose and this helps it look more refined. And then I did a little bit of contour powder and right here was just not blending. <laughs> Like it was a little bit too dark and I was using that Luxie JD Weighty contour brush. It's seriously bomb. It's my favorite for this. And then I just kind of smoothed it out with my bronzing brush because I was like, eh, it's fine. Next I took Max Smolder, which is a really, really dark black eye pencil and I put it into the, into the waterline and also down into the lash line. And then I took that same purple eyeshadow and smoked out the lower lash line for a really cool, smoky look. So let's add some liquid liner. This is my um, NYC liquid liner. Okay, let's go back in with the Urban Decay palette and I'm going to take some of this black eyeshadow and let's go over here and just shade the corners really lightly. And I'm going to do the same thing on the outside of the eye. Alrighty, so next we're going to use the CoverFX Custom Enhancer Drops. And I really love these. I discovered these a while back. And what I love about them is that you can use it to make your highlight as natural or as um, or as fleeky as you like. This one is rose gold. I'm gonna put this right on the tip of the nose. And then I'm gonna take my ring finger. I like using my finger though because I feel like I get more control over the product. I'm also going to take the custom enhancer drops in the shade Halo and this is a really cool like metallic liquid highlight. I'm sorry, kind of like holographic I mean. And then while we're at it, take some of these rose gold drops and let's put them on the back. On the lips, I'm gonna take this color called Bunny from the Kylie Cosmetics Coco collection. All right, you guys, so we're all done with the tutorial. I hope that you like this video, and I hope that you're inspired to go out there, highlight as much as you want, and illuminate who you truly are without having fears or doubts. All right, you guys, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, so you don't miss any of my new videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.
Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'll be doing this fall makeup tutorial. It's super easy and I can't wait to show you guys how I got this look. So let's go ahead and get started. So for primer, I did pick up this new one by Huda Beauty and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so bomb and it smells amazing by the way. So for foundation, I'm using the Huda Beauty foundation in the color, in the shade number 310. And I'm just going to be dotting this all over my entire face and blending that out with a beauty blender. You guys, I was pretty shocked because I picked the right foundation shade for me. There was so many and I was like, oh my gosh, I hope this works for me. And it was perfect. I always get lucky with foundations. I don't know. I feel like I always get the right one. So I also picked up this Too Faced Born This Way concealer and this concealer is full coverage. You just need a little bit and I feel like I apply it a lot but I already know for next time. But I'm going to be applying this under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose and on my chin as well. To set everything, I'm going to be using the Airspun Loose Face Powder and I've been looking for this forever. It's been months that I've been looking for it and I finally found it and I really really like it. I love how smooth it leaves my under eye and I do recommend it. I don't know if it has flashback or not, I'm gonna have to see about that. To bronze my face, I'm going to be using Hula by Benefit and the brush I'll be using to apply this is an L312 by Stilazi. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit different or it cracks, my throat has been hurting me for like a week now and it has just been so bad for me ever since September started so I'm gonna do a video updating you guys on everything and I'm just gonna let you guys know what I've been going through and everything because it's been a while so stay tuned for that. So for blush, I'll be using Luminoso by Milani. I love this blush. I love how pink and rosy it looks and it goes super smooth on the skin. I highly recommend it. So to highlight, I'm going to be using my sleek makeup palette and I believe it's called Cleopatra's Kiss. I'm not sure, but if it's not, I'll have it listed down below. So moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using the Morphe 3502 palette and the first color I'll be applying on my crease is this light brown eyeshadow and the brush I'll be using to apply that is the Morphe M441. So the next color I'll be applying on my crease is this darker brown color and I'm going to go in with a Morphe M433 to blend everything together and I'm just doing windshield wiper motions. I'm going in with a darker color, it's like a maroon burgundy shadow and I'm placing this on the crease and I'm applying it with the Morphe M433. And by the way, I'm keeping this eyeshadow pretty low just because I still want the other colors to be noticeable and I don't want the burgundy to cover them, you know what I mean? So I'm going to be blending that out and once I finish applying that burgundy maroon color, I'm going in with the Morphe M441 to blend everything together. Just a matter of time, check the resume. 
So for the eyelid color, I'm going in with this orange eyeshadow. It's like a deep orange color and I'm applying this all over my entire eyelid. I'm not sure what brush this is, but I'll list it down below. To make sure everything is well blended out, I'm going in with the Morphe M433 and I'm just going to be blending out the edges just because we don't want that to look too harsh, you know? So I'm moving on to the other eye and I'm pretty much just doing the same thing. For lashes, I'll be using my Lolo PMs by Ace Beauty. You guys already know. <laughs> I'm picking up this gold eyeshadow and I'm placing it on the inner corners of my eyes and as well as on my brow bone because I love a brow bone highlight. So I decided to do something a little bit different. I decided to add this orange glitter on the inner corners of my eyes, something a little bit different, and I feel like it completed the look. Wow, so I just finished doing the eyes, so now I'm going back to the face. And for lips, I'm going to be using World by MAC, and this is the lip liner, by the way, not lipstick. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using this one by Frankie Rose, and it's called Macaroon. So I am all done with this makeup tutorial. I loved it and I am obsessed with it. I hope you guys are too. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up before you leave. I love you guys and I'll see you guys on my next video. Hi guys, welcome back to the Vienna Makeup Channel. Jadi hari ini Chan disuruh untuk mengisi suara di video Pici Pici Makeup Look hari ini. Silakan buat teman-teman yang senang sama Chan boleh duluan subscribe ke channel ini dan kita mulai makeup. <laughs> Jadi pertama-tama kita sudah mengisi alis. Dan kemudian kita akan memakai foundation dari Focalure Karena ini adalah Focalure One Brand Jadi ini adalah foundation Focalure yang warna porcelain Dan ini tinggal kita tap-tap di wajah saja Dan katakan di Vienna ini foundationnya bagus sekali Dan sangat highly coverage Selanjutnya kita akan memakai concealer Ini kita pakainya yang pertama yang warna natural dulu yang nomor satu Ini untuk membuat daerah-daerah highlight kita menjadi cerah Lalu nanti kita akan menggunakan warna contour dan masih sama-sama liquid concealer Mukanya menjadi begitu Jangan lupa di blend yang benar Dan menggunakan beauty blender yang sama Seperti yang kita pakai di foundation tadi ya guys Oh, 
Biasanya kalau yang Chan lihat di Instagram itu Orang kalau mengkontur dan highlight itu selalu menggunakan yang highlight dan kontur secara bersamaan Tapi kalau di video ini Kak Deviana tidak suka mencampur begitu Karena takut warnanya menjadi kotor Uh, maksudnya menjadi bercampur <tuh> Jadi dipisah Setelah menggunakan highlight Sekarang kita akan kontur wajah Menggunakan yang warna deep Nomor 7 Setelah ini kita akan memakai illuminator atau ini yang disebut dengan highlighter yang liquid. Tapi menurut Kadevina ini kurang bagus kalau dipakai di atas concealer dan foundation karena menjadi keki. Tapi mungkin akan lebih bagus kalau langsung di kulit. Kalau salah jangan bilang-bilang nanti Encan dimarahi <laughs> Setelah itu kita akan Menggunakan press powder dan Ini supaya makeup kita Menempel dengan sempurna di wajah Dan di sini Kak Devina memakai yang nomor 2 Yaitu Gak ada namanya Wah wow, makeupnya banyak sekali nggak bisa habis Ini sekarang kita akan memakai Highlight dan contour lagi Tapi ini yang bubuk jadi kita pakai di area yang sama seperti kita menghighlight dan contour tadi. Nah, kalau ini nih favoritnya Kak Devina yaitu blush on. Dia sangat senang memakai blush on dan ini kita menggunakan yang warna tipsy ya guys. Ini warnanya lebih orange coral coral begitu. Sekarang tinggal kita pakai banyak-banyak juga tidak apa-apa ya guys. Selanjutnya kita menggunakan Wicker Your Favor Saisedo yang warna deep peach di seluruh kelopak mata. Dan sudah lelah. Lanjut lagi sekarang kita akan menggunakan warna yang lebih orange. Ini yang salmon. Kita juga pakai di bagian kelopak mata di bagian bingkaian mata. Lalu Kak Devina mengambil blush on yang tadi karena warna koralnya bagus sekali dan sangat pigmented Jadi bisa dijadikan sebagai eyeshadow juga Lalu ini kita tambahkan lagi eyeshadow yang warna coral pink Ini tuh warna coklat yang lebih gelap Kita pakai di daerah bingkaian mata juga karena Gadevina tidak mau memakai eyeliner di tutorial ini Jadi kita menggantinya dengan eyeshadow warna merah Jadi ini bukan merah-merah cabai Tapi ini merah yang lebih ungu-ungu gitu ya guys <tuh> Jadi sudah lelah guys Tidak selesai-selesai Sekarang kita mengambil lagi warna coral pink eyeshadow Tadi kita pakai di bagian luar bagian bawah Lalu kita menghalat mata kita dengan eyeshadow yang shimmer berwarna chill habis itu kita sudah hampir selesai membuat eyeshadow kita tinggal memakai mascara ini namanya uh, bomlesis mascara jadi ini dipakai di atas dan di bawah bulu mata Mau dipakai di bulu hidung juga tidak apa-apa Saya tidak kecolok saja ya guys Eh, kalau ini kan Devina cheating ya guys Sedikit tidak apa-apa karena Devina tidak punya warna lipstick Vokal luar yang warna orange Jadi ini dipakai dari Jar of Beauty yang firecracker Nah, cantik dan tidak sulit bukan? Ini look yang termasuk mudah untuk para pemula dan murah karena produk yang kita pakai di sini adalah Vokalur. Jadi terima kasih juga untuk online shop Vokalur by Fina yang sudah mensponsori produk Vokalur di video ini. 
Dan produk-produk yang dijual Vokalur by Vina itu original Jadi tidak usah takut pemirsa Jangan pamitan dulu ya guys Sampai jumpa lagi di video berikutnya Jika kada
be showing you six different ways that I apply eyeliner on myself and on photo shoes. The first look is the most common and it's a line going from the inner corner of the top lid staying close to the lash line all the way to the outer corner. Look directly into a mirror and keep your eyes open while you apply the eyeliner. This way the skin is going to be nice and taut and it will go on a lot smoother. Get the bases of the line done first and then go over the top of it again and just get a nice smooth even finish all the way along. I'm using a cream gel liner by Cryolan and this is in the shade Ebony. And the brush I'm using is actually a really fine paintbrush. The second eyeliner look is another classic and this is the flick. At the end of the eyeliner I'm dragging the colour upwards as if there was an invisible line meeting the end of my eyebrow but I'm stopping about half a centimetre long. And we can turn that flick into a winged eyeliner by making it ever so slightly fuller. After pulling the brush up and outwards to create the flick, I'm then dragging the colour from the end of the flick back on myself and pulling the colour up towards the middle of the eyelid. And that's how you create a small winged eyeliner. And then you just go in and neaten it. Don't worry about getting it perfect in one swoop, do small little strokes and you'll get the perfect line. The third eyeliner look is one I use a lot on shoots and this is a great way of making the eye look a lot bigger. I'm slipping my brush underneath my lower lashes and I'm drawing a line from the outer corner and dragging the product outwards to meet that wing. This is going to frame the eye but also elongate it. And then I'm going to carry on applying that colour underneath my lower lashes as close as you can to the root. The best way to do this is to wiggle your brush once it's in place on the skin and this is going to apply the colour in a nice line. And then the key part for making the eye look larger is to drop the eyeliner by about 2mm lower than the tear duct area of your eye. Then you want to extend the liner on the inner corner from the top lid. So there should be a small gap between the top liner and the bottom one. And this will make your eye look a lot bigger. The fourth look is a subtle version of a cat eye. We're going to use that cream liner across our waterline and this is going to give us a nice inky black appearance. 
Then using the tip of our brush, we're going to create a nice point at the beginning of the inner corner of the eye. Off camera, I've just removed a little bit of the line that was underneath the tear duct area from the previous liner. And now using the brush, we're going to colour in between the lower lashes. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a fleshy colour going on between the water line and the line we've created underneath the lower lashes. So we're just going to work our brush backwards and forwards, filling that area in with the black eyeliner. And that's my version of a subtle cat eye. The next one's a simple one, it's called the double wing, I've used this in other tutorials before. We're extending from the lower lash line straight out underneath the wing we've already got and this is creating a double wing. The last look I've got for you is a full on cat eye. We've already got the shape for it, it's a case of extending certain areas and thickening the lines we've already got. So as you can see, I have just extended a point on the inner corner and made it more cat like. And then I'm extending all the way up over the line I've already done but thickening it ever so slightly and working my way in small strokes across the entire top lid. As I get to the outer corner I'm changing the angle of my brush and again coming back on myself thickening that line. This then means I need to reline the wing and extend it ever so slightly and I'm also relining and extending my double wing. To keep everything in proportion, we're also going to line underneath the lower lashes and make that a little bit more fuller and defined. And as I said before, work in small strokes to create the perfect line. To complete the eye look, I placed on a set of Eldora false eyelashes in M102. I know many of you have requested this, so I hope that's been helpful. Thank you for watching. If you've missed any of my previous tutorials, you can check out any of these now. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Hey guys, so in today's video I'll be showing you how to achieve the look that I'm wearing right now. I wanted to do a very natural summertime look with just a touch of color. I used some pinks in the crease and also on the lips. I wanted to keep it very natural and simple and I think that you're going to be surprised how easy the eye makeup is to achieve. I also used some very affordable products which I know you guys like what I do. I think that this look is perfect for the summer. You can also wear it on a prom or something like that. So I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and let's get started. Okay guys, so I already moisturized my face and now I'm going to apply some primer today. You know that I usually don't use primers but I'm going to use this one right here. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin uh, Instant Pore Eraser. This is from the drugstore and for the price it does a really good job. I don't say that this is the best one that I ever tried but I see a difference when I apply it. Uh, it really blurs my pores. It's not the best smoothing primer that I've tried but come on it's six bucks we can't ask for more. And for foundation I'm going with the Born This Way by Too Faced. I'm in the shade Snow. I'm going to apply it all over my face with my damp beauty blender. Alright, so next I'm going to take a mixture of this concealer here and this one right here. This is a palette by Morphe with bl blushes, with concealers. So I'm going to take them both on my beauty blender and I'm applying them underneath my eyes to cover and highlight that under eye area. Alright, so to prevent that concealer from creasing, I'm going to set it with this loose powder here by the brand Makeup Atelier. Atelier? Their French brand, I'm not sure if I pronounce their name right, but I'll be using my all time favorite puff to do that. <laughs> this is my first time using it, I hope my concealer doesn't crease. It's been a long time since I used something other than my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder for the concealer underneath my eyes, but 
We'll see how this goes. <laughs> For my eyebrows, I'm going to use this eyeliner here by Sigma. It's called Liberally Toasted. And the brush I'm using is the Sigma E75. And then I'm taking some concealer from that Morphe palette and I'm just cleaning up the edges. Alright, so now I'm going to prime my eyelids and I'll be using this um, Shadow Insurance by Too Faced. I'm applying it with my fingers and I'm using a very small amount of it. You don't need a lot of this product. A little goes a very long way. And then I'm taking this pencil here by Zoeva. It's called Myth. And I'm going to apply it all over the eyelid. This is going to make the eyeshadow that I'm going to apply on top of it to come out more bright and intense. So for today's look, I'm going to use this palette right here by Makeup Addiction. It's called Neutrals versus Neutrals. Well, that, that's written differently, but uh, it's spelled the same, I guess. I know that you guys like it when I'm using more affordable products, and uh, I like it too. So I lost the sticker with the names of the shadows, so I'm going to point to you what I'm using. I'm going to start off with this shade right here. It's a really pretty, light, pinky, shimmery eyeshadow. Using my finger, I'm applying it on top of that pencil that I already have on my eyelid. Alright, so now let's go ahead and define the crease. I'll be using this shade right here. I'm working with the Makeup Addiction Controlled Blender Brush. Well, that's intense, you guys. <laughs> Then I'm taking a clean blending brush, this is the Sigma E35 and I'll be using it to blend out the harsh lines. So I'm going to add one more layer of that eyeshadow in the crease but if you like it the way it is now feel free to skip the next step. I'm just going to add one more layer of this shade in the crease and I'll be using again that um, controlled blender brush by Makeup Addiction. And then again, I'm taking that bigger blending brush by Sigma and I'm going to blend everything even better. So next, I'm taking again that Zoeva pencil that I used to apply all over the eyelid and get that pretty shine. I'm going to use it this time in the inner corners of my eyes and I'm going to take it slightly along my lower lash line. I'm going to keep it just in the inner half. And then on top of it, I'm going to apply this eyeshadow here. The brush I'm using is the Sigma E21. Alright, so lastly from this palette, I'm going to take this eyeshadow that I used also in my crease and I'm going to apply it uh, in the other half of my lower lash line. And I'm connecting it here with the other eyeshadows. Next, I'm going to create a wing with the Sigma Gel Eyeliner in Wicked and I'm using the Sigma F06 to do that. So I'm also going to glue on some falsies. I'm going to use the Le Page Trend Lashes in the style Ruby. I used them in my previous video and by mistake I said that they were mink lashes when they're actually full mink and they're all cruelty free so excuse me for that. Some of you guys got upset and I totally understand that. So I'm just going to glue them on and I'll be back. Alright, so now that the eyes are complete, I'm going to finish up the face. I'll be using this shade right here for contour. This is the more... F ow, 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 my finger. <laughs> This is the Morphe 9C palette. I'm taking it on the Sigma F40 and I'm just going to apply it on the hollows of my cheeks, along my jawline and on the top of my forehead. <laughs> We're going for more of a summertime look so I'm going to use some bronzer as well. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer and I'm applying it with the Sigma F15. I'm also going to add some blush and I'm using this one here by Makeup Geek, it's called Main Squeeze. I'm using the Jessup Taper Face Brush to apply it. I got mine from eBay but <laughs> it's very soft and uh, it's super affordable. <laughs> 
and it won't be a summer hair look without any highlighters so from the sleek uh, so stays palette I'm going to take this one right here and I'll be applying it on the highest points of my face with the Sigma F35 I'll take some of it on a smaller brush and I'm going to apply that underneath my brow bone and just a little bit in the inner corners. Going on the lips now, I'll be using this uh, lip pencil by Sigma, it's called Carnation. I'm just going to line my lips with it. I can't decide! <laughs> I think that I'll go with this one here. This is again by Sigma, it's called In Spades. And this is the finished look guys. Keep in mind that you can change the crease color. Maybe you can use oranges or purples, blues, whatever you like. So I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget that you can also follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and also visit my blog. All the links are going to be down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Um, I kind of see difference when I apply it. Um, it, it really broke. It, it really blur blurs my pores and you know, that, that's cool for that price. I'm not sure if I pronounce them right. I'm taking it on the sing... Uh, on the so from the Sleek Cosmetics Soul... Hi everyone! आज का जो मेरा लुक है ये ब्राइडल मेकअप है और मैंने पिंक कलर चूज किया है पिंक लहंगा के लिए और ये पूरा एच डी मेकअप है तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं और अगर आपको वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो मेरा चैनल सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलिएगा और सब्सक्राइब करने के बाद बेल बटन पे एक लाइक जरूर कर दीजिएगा तो चलिए देखते हैं तो मैंने एन का आई शेडो बेस लिया है और इसको मैं पूरी आई पे क्रीज एरिया पे और लोअर लैश लाइन पे लगाऊंगी और इसकी एक अच्छी सी लेयर मैं लगा रही हूँ पूरी आईज पे तो जिससे कि आई शेडो अच्छे से होल्ड हो अच्छा एक बेस मिले आई शेडो को टिका रहने के लिए और अभी लाइट पिंक मैंने शेड लिया है और ये पैलेट है मॉर्फी थर्टी बी पैलेट आपके पास कोई भी और पैलेट हो जिसमें इस तरह के शेड्स हो तो आप वो यूज़ कर सकते हैं ऐसा कोई ज़रूरी नहीं है कि जो पैलेट मैं यूज़ कर रही हूँ वो ही होना ज़रूरी है तो सिमिलर शेड्स आपके पास हो आप यूज़ करके लुक आप क्रिएट कर सकते हैं और ये ब्राउन शेड मैंने लिया है जो कि मॉर्फी थर्टी फाइव ओ पैलेट का है और इसको भी मैं ब्लेंडिंग ब्रश के हेल्प से क्रीज में इसको मैं लगा रही हूँ और लगाने के बाद मैं यही ब्रश को क्लीन करके इसको ब्लेंड कर दूँगी और डार्क ब्राउन शेड लिया है मैंने अब इसी पैलेट में से और इसको भी मैं ब्राउन के जस्ट ऊपर ही लगा रही हूँ आइस को थोड़ा अच्छा सा डेप्थ देने के लिए और अब मैं इसको ओवरऑल अच्छे से ब्लेंड कर ले रही हूँ और अब ये डार्क पिंक शेड मैंने लिया है जो कि मॉर्फी 35 बी पैलेट का है और इसको मैं पेंसिल ब्रश की हेल्प से आउटर थर्ड में लगाते हुए थोड़ा सा अंदर को इसको मैं लेके आऊँगी तो इस तरह से मैं इसको लगाऊंगी और थोड़ा थोड़ा कलर आपको हर बार में लेना है क्योंकि डार्क शेड हैं तो एक बार में इकट्ठा मत लीजिए और इसी को मैं ऊपर क्रीज में भी लगा रही हूँ इस तरह से तो बाहर बाहर ही इसको ज़्यादा रखना है पूरा अंदर तक लेकर नहीं आना पिंक कलर और अब मैं इसको ब्लेंड कर दे रही हूँ तो जैसे कि अच्छा सा नाइस और ब्लेंडेड सा लगे आई शेडो और अब मैंने कंसीलर लिया है और ये एन का कंसीलर है तो आगे भी मैंने यूज़ करा है आप देखेंगे तो ऐसे छोटे छोटे स्ट्रोक्स लगाकर मैं हाफ कट क्रीज बना रही हूँ और अब इन सबको बस मैं जॉइन कर लूँगी थोड़ा सा और कंसीलर लेकर तो 
तो इस तरह से इसको ज्वाइन कर लीजिए और बाकी जो बचा हुआ आईलिड है जहाँ पे कलर नहीं है तो इसको मैं इस तरह से लगा रही हूँ और अब ये मैंने हल्का सा पाउडर लिया है और हल्का सा लगा दिया है जिससे कि ये थोड़ा ड्राई हो जाए और दूसरा आई शेडो अब जो मैं यूज़ कर रही हूँ वो अच्छे से लग जाए तो ये मैंने हल्का सा लाइट पिंक शेड लिया है मॉर्फी थर्टी फाइव ओ पैलेट में से ही और इसको मैं इस तरह से पूरे जो भी हमारा ये कट क्रीज वाला एरिया है वहाँ पे मैं लगा रही हूँ और अब ये मैंने डार्क ब्राउन शेड लिया है हल्का सा इसके ऊपर तो थोड़ा सा अच्छा क्लीन एकदम जिससे कि कट क्रीज हमारा लगे और अब इसको मैं ब्लेंड कर रही हूँ सेम ब्लेंडिंग ब्रश से और अब ये दो कॉम्बिनेशन मैंने लिए हैं एन का ये ग्लू है और एन का ही ये लूज ग्लिटर है तो बीच में से स्टार्ट करते हुए और इस तरह से कट क्रीज में लाते हुए जिससे कि क्लीन सा लगे और पहले मैंने ग्लू लगाया है और उसके बाद मैंने ब्रश पे डैब करके इस तरह से मैं अब ग्लिटर लगा रही हूँ आप चाहें तो लिक्विड ग्लिटर भी यूज कर सकते हैं जो भी आपके लिए इजी हो वो भी अच्छा लगता है और अब आई मैंने लिया है एन का ब्लैक कलर का और मैं विंग डाइलाइनर बना रही हूँ और अब मैंने ये हाइलाइटर लिया है जो कि मेकअप रेवोल्यूशन का है और इसको मैं आईब्रो के जस्ट नीचे लगा रही हूँ और मस्कारा मैंने यूज करा है ये मेबिलीन का और ये वाटरप्रूफ मस्कारा है और ये आई मैंने ली हैं और ये आई की लैशेज हैं और इनका नंबर है शायद 100 तो जो भी कोई प्रोडक्ट की डिटेल्स है वो मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में लगा दूंगी तो आप वहाँ चेक कर सकते हैं और थोड़ा सा पिंक शेड मैंने दोबारा से लिया है और इसको मैं वही आउटर साइड में ही इसको मैं लगा रही हूँ और दोबारा से मैं इसको अच्छे से ब्लेंड कर दे रही हूँ तो बिल्कुल ब्लेंडेड और क्लीन लगे और अब मैंने बेबी वाइप लेकर जो भी हमारा फॉल आउट हुआ है ग्लिटर वगैरह जो भी हल्का फुल्का गिरा है तो जिससे कि आप वो आराम से क्लीन कर सकते हैं और मैंने क्रीम लिया है ये और ये नीविया का है तो क्योंकि मेरी ऑयली स्किन है इसलिए मैंने क्रीम ली है अगर आपकी ज़्यादा ड्राई स्किन है तो आप थोड़ा थिक क्रीम ले सकते हैं जो कि अच्छे से फेस पर एब्जॉर्ब हो जाए और अब मैंने ये प्राइमर यूज़ करा है जो कि एन का है और कैसे भी स्किन हो आपकी ड्राई या ऑयली जैसे भी ये सबके ऊपर जाता है और बहुत अच्छा काम करता है ये तो जहाँ पे भी पोर्स है वहाँ से स्टार्ट करते हुए जिससे कि वो ज़्यादा फिल हो और इस तरह से मैं इसको लगा रही हूँ तो पोर्स को फिल करता हुआ ये पूरे फेस पर आपके फैलेगा और अब मैंने कलर करेक्शन किया है तो अगर आपके हाइपर पिगमेंटेशन है या फिर ज़्यादा ब्लेमिशेज हैं या एक्ने हैं तो ये काफ़ी अच्छा रहता है तो ये दोनों शेड मैंने ये मैंने बाद में यूज़ करें पहले मैंने ये येलो शेड इसमें से यूज़ करा है और इसको मैं अंडर आई लगा रही हूँ तो जिससे कि ब्राइटन अप हो जाए क्योंकि मेरे एज सच कोई डार्क सर्कल नहीं है अगर आपके ज़्यादा डार्क सर्कल हैं तो आप ऑरेंज कलर यूज़ करिए तो वो ज़्यादा अच्छा रहेगा तो इसको इस तरह से मैं अंडर आई लगा रही हूँ और जैसे कि रेड पिंपल वगैरह थोड़ा ब्लेमिश के ये निशान है रेड ब्राउन तो इसके ऊपर मैं ग्रीन कलर का यूज कर रही हूँ जिससे कि ये प्रॉपरली सबके सब हाइड हो जाए नोज के आसपास जहां पे भी ऐसा प्रॉब्लमैटिक स्किन है वहां पर और माथा क्योंकि मेरा फेस थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा हल्का सा डार्क है तो इसलिए मैंने पर्पल कलर यूज़ किया है और अब ये एन का एच फाउंडेशन मैंने यूज़ करा है और इस तरह से लगा के 
मैं इसको थोड़ा सा ऐसे ब्लेंड कर रही हूँ जिससे कि इसको लगाने में बिल्कुल भी प्रॉब्लम नहीं आए और अच्छे से पूरे फेस में ये इवनली ब्लेंड हो जाए और क्योंकि मैंने ऑलरेडी कलर करेक्शन किया हुआ है इसलिए मैं ब्यूटी ब्लेंडर का यूज़ कर रही हूँ नहीं तो अगर आपने देखे होंगे मेरे वीडियो से आपने देखा होगा कि मैं जनरली मैं ब्रश का यूज़ करना मुझे ज़्यादा पसंद है तो इस तरह से डैप डैप करते हुए फाउंडेशन लगा लीजिए और अब ये कंसीलर मैंने लिया है ये भी एन का कंसीलर है और ये एच है और इसको मैं इस तरह से जहाँ पे भी ब्लेमिश है या एक्ने थे वहाँ पर मैं इसको लगा रही हूँ और उंगली से ही इसको डैप कर लीजिए बिल्कुल भी रगड़ना नहीं है इसको ज़रा भी फैलाना नहीं है बस इस तरह से हल्के हाथ से इसको डैप करना है और अब ये लूज पाउडर है बॉडी शॉप का और मेरा नंबर है इसमें थ्री आप कोई भी पाउडर जो भी लूज पाउडर अवेलेबल है आपके उधर आप वो ले सकते हैं और इसको मैं जहाँ जहाँ पे भी मैंने कंसीलर लगाया था मैं इसको वहाँ वहाँ पे लगा रही हूँ क्योंकि बहुत ही फाइन सा होता है तो बिल्कुल एकदम लॉक कर देगा कंसीलर को और इस तरह से उंगली से ही मैं इसको लगा रही हूँ और सेम कंसीलर मैंने लिया है अंडर आई यूज आई मीन किया है इसको तो मैं नॉर्मल से हल्का सा ज़्यादा लगा रही हूँ नहीं तो मैं uh, इस तरह से नहीं लगाती मैं बहुत हल्का सा ही कंसीलर लगाना प्रेफर करती हूँ तो थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा uh, हल्का सा करते हुए और इसको ब्रश से मैं uh, uh, इसको मैं लगा ले रही हूँ इस तरह से ब्लेंड कर रही हूँ और दूसरी आंख में भी इसी तरह से आप इसको ब्लेंड कर लीजिए और अब ये फिनिशिंग पाउडर मैंने यूज़ करा है और ये भी एच है और इसको मैं अंडर आई जहाँ पे भी लगाया है मैंने कंसीलर वहाँ पे मैं लगा रही हूँ और ये एकदम ब्राइट से येलो कलर का है तो अच्छा सा ब्राइटन अप कर देगा आइस को ये एकदम तो इस तरह से आप इसको लगा लीजिए अंडर आय और अब मैं ब्रश की हेल्प से जो कि पाउडर ब्रश है हल्के हाथ से बिल्कुल मैं लूज पाउडर हटा रही हूँ तो जिससे कि ये एकदम प्रॉपरली आई मीन ब्लेमिश वगैरह सबके सब हाइड हो जाएंगे और आइस पे अब दोबारा से चलते हैं और मैंने पहले ये ब्राउन कलर यूज़ करा है जो कि मैंने क्रीज पे करा था और अब ये गोल्डन शेड मैंने लिया है और ये मॉर्फी का थर्टी फाइव एफ पैलेट है और इसको मैं पेंसिल ब्रश से इनर साइड्स में लगा रही हूँ और अब मैंने ब्लैक कलर यूज़ करा है और इसको मैं साइड में लगा रही हूँ और ये पैलेट यूज़ करना मुझको इसलिए पसंद है क्योंकि क्वालिटी में बहुत अच्छे होते हैं और बिल्कुल भी इसमें फॉल आउट नहीं होता कोई आ, मतलब ऐसा कुछ नहीं है और अगर आपको देखना है कि आप अच्छा पैलेट कैसे चूज़ कर सकते हैं जो भी आप लेने जा रहे हैं तो आप मेरा वीडियो चेक कर सकते हैं उसमें मैंने डिटेल में सारे स्वॉचेस वगैरह देकर दिखाया है कि आप कैसे एक अच्छा पैलेट आप चूज़ कर सकते हैं तो उसका लिंक मैं लगा दूँगी और ये प्रॉपरली इसको ब्लेंड वेंड करने के बाद में मैंने हल्का सा ये ग्लिटर लिया है जो कि अर्बन डिके का है और ये गोल्डन ग्लिटर है और आप चाहें तो कोई भी गोल्डन ग्लिटर अगर आपके पास है तो आप उसको यूज़ कर सकते हैं और अब लोअर लैशेज में मैं मस्कारा यूज़ कर रही हूँ सेम और काजल लिया है मैंने जो कि बोजुआ का है और ये भी वाटरप्रूफ काजल है आप लोरियल में मे बिलीन में या एन में काजल आप देख सकते हैं उसमें भी वाटर काजल आपको मिल जाएंगे जो कि स्मज नहीं होते और ये आईज कंप्लीट है और अब मैंने कॉन्ट्योरिंग के लिए ये पहले तो मैंने नोज कॉन्ट्योर के लिए ये वाला पैलेट लिया है मेबिलिन का मास्टर स्कल्प्ट और इस तरह से मैं नोज कॉन्ट्योर कर रही हूँ और अब ये लूज पाउडर लगाकर मैं इससे जिससे कि एक सॉफ्ट फिनिश आए तो मैं वो मैं लगा रही हूँ और अब ये दोनों शेड मैंने लिए हैं और ये पैलेट एनवाइक्स का था 
और इस तरह से मैं चीक्स कॉन्ट्योर कर रही हूँ और कॉन्ट्योरिंग पाउडर कॉन्ट्योरिंग के लिए मैंने एक अलग वीडियो बनाया हुआ है तो आप वो चेक कर सकते हैं वो पूरा बिगिनर के लिए है प्रॉपर डिटेल्ड वीडियो तो वो आप चेक कर सकते हैं तो चीक्स पे बहुत हल्का सा ही फोर हेड पे और जॉ लाइन पे मैं इसको लगा रही हूँ और ये ब्लश मैंने लिया है जो कि मेकअप रेवोल्यूशन का ब्लश है तो इसको मैं लगा रही हूँ और ये क्रीम हाइलाइटर है स्लीक का तो चीक्स पे लगाने के लिए मैंने इसको यूज करा है तो दोनों तरफ मैं इसको लगा रही हूँ खाली चीक्स पर और नोज पे मैंने मेकअप रेवोल्यूशन वाला हाइलाइटर यूज करा है तो ये थिन सा बिल्कुल ब्रश है और इसको मैं इस तरह लगा रही हूँ तो जिससे कि नोज थोड़ा पतला सा नजर आता है और इसको क्यूपिड्स बो पर भी मैं लगा रही हूँ और हल्का सा मैं फोर हेड पर लगा रही हूँ साइड साइड में तो वो साइड पोज या ऐसा कुछ हो तो उसमें अच्छा लगता है और ये लिपस्टिक मैंने मिलानी का लिया है ये लिक्विड लिपस्टिक है ऑल दो मैं प्रेफर करती हूँ कोई भी ट्यूब वाला लिपस्टिक तो जो भी आपके स्किन टोन पे सबसे अच्छा लगता हो तो आप वही लिपस्टिक आप लीजिएगा और एंड में सेटिंग स्प्रे डालना बिल्कुल भी मत भूलिएगा और ये वाला जो सेटिंग स्प्रे मैं यूज कर रही हूँ ये मैट फिनिश देता है तो मेकअप ये फिनिश है और जैसा आपको दिख रहा है क्योंकि मैं एक लाइट प्रोफेशनल लाइट है उसमें मैं बनाया है मैंने और अगर वैसे अलग से क्योंकि ज़्यादा लाइट होती है तो जितना दिख रहा है तो आप समझ लीजिए उसका दुगना तिगना ज़्यादा अच्छा लगेगा ये तो होपफुली आपको वीडियो अच्छा लगा हो फ्रेंड्स और अच्छा लगा हो तो मेरा चैनल सब्सक्राइब करना बिल्कुल भी मत भूलिएगा और सब्सक्राइब करने के बाद बेल बटन पर क्लिक जरूर कर दीजिएगा और आप मुझे इंस्टाग्राम और फेसबुक पर फॉलो कर सकते हैं तो थैंक यू वेरी वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग बाय this Easter inspired makeup tutorial. It is very simple and very easy. It's very subtle for Easter. Um, I did add in a little pop of color, some purple on my lower lash line and a little bit of glitter, um, but I didn't put on false lashes or used a whole bunch of eyeliner. So this is the look that I came up with and I really love how it turned out. I will most definitely be wearing my makeup like this on Easter. So if you guys want to see how I get this look, then just keep watching the video. Hey guys, so to get started today, I'm going to go in with the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm, and this is just a primer that I'm trying. I've been seeing a lot of talk about it on YouTube, so I'm just kind of trying it out. And then I'm going in with this Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, and I'm just tapping that under my under eye where the, I have any darkness. And then for foundation today, I'm going to go with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. And mine is in the shade 106 Sun Beige. And I'm just going to apply this with a foundation, with a foundation brush and blend it in with my Beauty Blender. If you have oily skin, this is a great drugstore foundation.
Then I'm going to go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and mine is in the shade NC25. And I'm going to use this um, to highlight my under eye area and around my face. And I'm just going to blend this out with the Beauty Blender as well. To make sure that my concealer is a few shades lighter than my foundation, just so it really gives me that highlighted effect in my under eye area. and set that concealer with the Kat Von D shade light palette. This is my favorite powder to use to set my under eye area. It is just so creamy and I love it. And then I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm gonna use this on my beauty blender just to set my entire face so I stay matte all day long. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation, and mine's in the shade NC35. And I'm just doing this to add some extra coverage to my face. This is Milani Bronzer, and I'm taking it on a Morphe M505 brush and just buffing that into the crease for our transition shade. And I'm going to put it on the lower lash line as well. And then I'm going to go into the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and I'm going to take the color Honey Butter and use that on a Morphe, what is this, M441 brush and just put that into the crease and a little bit on the outer corner. And then taking that same brush, I'm going to take the color Chocolate Cookie and just further deepen the crease. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with the same Morphe M505 brush. I'm going to go back into that palette and use the color Heaven and just use that to highlight my brow bone. And I also use this shade to highlight the inner corner of my eye as well. And then I'm going to go with a little bit of Max Fix Plus and the Makeup Geek shade in the spotlight. And I'm going to take that on the MAC 242 brush and just pat this all over my eye. And I'm just going to kind of blend it in with the outer corner part. Um, just patting and kind of making sure that all the products on the inner corner and whatever I have left on my brush, I will blend in with the outer portion of the eye. And then I'm just going to curl my lashes and use Benefit's Their Real Mascara. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And the color that I put on the outer corner is Urban. It's a deep purple color. It's gorgeous. And then right next to that, I use the color Jilted, which is a little bit lighter and has a little bit more of a pink tone and I just kind of combine the two together. It's kind of creating an ombre effect to the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to blend that out with a pencil brush. I'm just going to go in with a white eyeliner and pop this on my waterline just to make my eyes look a little bit more awake. 
And then I'm going to use that same Shade by Makeup Geek that we put on our lid and pop a little bit of that on the inner portion of the lower lash line. And then I'm going to further build up the purple shade and just go over the two colors again. I'm going to pop on some bottom mascara. This is Max Extended Play at Giga Black Lash Mascara and it is amazing at separating the lower lash line eyelashes. And I'm going to go in and contour with my NARS Eda brush taking the Kat Von D shade light palette and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead. You guys know the drill. For my forehead though, I'm actually using a bronzer by Makeup Forever and it is the Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 30M and I've really, really been loving this to contour my forehead and um, all around my face as well. And I'm using a new brush. This is the Morphe M523 and I'm obsessed with it for applying bronzer. And I'm not sure why, but I'm looking kind of orange on camera, but it did not look orange in person. And then for blush, I'm going in with Max Petal Power Mineralized Blush. And this is just a really pretty corally pink shade with some gold undertones. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Champagne Pop and highlight my nose and my cheekbones just using my finger. I've really been liking how it looks when I use my finger. It just looks a lot more natural. And then for the lips, I'm going to go in with Max Blankety, and it's just a really pretty nude shade, and I'm just going to put that all over. And then on top of it, I'm going to use a NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Salsa. And then I'm going to spritz my face with a makeup setting spray, and I decided that I wanted to put on some glitter, so I'm just adding in some gold glitter to the lower lash line. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I just straightened my hair and put in two hair extensions. Um, these are super old and I really want to try some new kinds. So I'm thinking about trying the hot style hair extensions. Um, if you guys have any other recommendations, please let me know and leave them in the comments below. But yeah, so this is it for this look. My romper I got from Forever 21 a few years ago. And then, yeah, I just straightened my hair. So. This is the final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! doing this doll-eyed makeup look. It's the best name I can come up with. <laughs> I was inspired by these lashes that I recently got from Salon Perfect. I loved how kind of a little bit over the top these lashes were and I thought it would be really cool to do this doll-like wide eye makeup look. I think it makes the eyes look really really flirty which I love. So let's get right into it to see how to recreate this look. First step, priming my eyes. This is a really simple eyeshadow look, so if you don't wanna use an eye primer, you can skip this step, but I personally always recommend using an eyeshadow primer to hold all your eyeshadow in place. For the crease, I'm using the color Orca Style, but another good option is Soba, because I believe Orca Style is discontinued. I'm blending this color in my crease using a big blending brush. This is Mint Brush 20. I love a warm tone color like this in the crease. It just pulls all the eyeshadows together and it's a great mid-tone color. Next, I'm going in with the same color, smaller brush, sweeping it along my lower lash line just to give the eye a little bit of definition. I'm going in with the color Cork 
and I'm using this color more right in my crease now, not blending it out as much, and that's why you see I'm using a different brush than before. Cork is absolutely one of my favorite eyeshadows from MAC. The other two eyeshadows are from MAC as well. Sorry guys, I forgot to mention that. As you can tell, it's almost finished. I'm using it along my lower lash line as well. I'm taking the color brulee from MAC and applying that onto my lid, brighten up the lid area. And then I'm also using it to highlight my brow bone. I'm using a brown coal liner. This one is from Wet n Wild. And I'm applying this right at the base of my lashes. So I don't want this line to be thick at all. I want it to be as thin as possible, barely visible actually. But I just want something there so there isn't any skin showing when we apply our lashes. Now I'm going in with a really heavy coat of mascara and for this look the bottom lashes are key. To get that really dull effect you want to really coat your bottom lashes. So you can see here I'm going in first with the brush horizontally and then I'm switching it up and turning the brush vertically and getting every lash. I went back and did this a few times. This actually kind of gives you the effect as if you're wearing false lashes on your bottom lash line. So now I'm taking my lashes. These are the Salon Perfect 615. I love this pack. I got it from a trade show. I think it was IMAX. I'm pretty sure it was that. And I normally wouldn't get lashes like this, but I really love the look of them. I'm going back and adding a bit more mascara just at the base. And now I'm going in with a cream liner. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil in Light. I love this pencil because it's cream, not white. So here I'm showing you the, the NYX pencil. And in comparison to a regular white cold pencil, you can see the white is really harsh and I don't really like that look. I'm taking the eyeshadow nylon with a pencil brush, mint brush 24, just as a pop up highlight in the corner of the eyes. Now I'm taking two of my favorite blush bronzer combos. These are from Neutrogena and I pretty much just mixed my brush in both colors because I kind of wanted a bronzy but pinky peach cheek. <laughs> so this was the perfect way of, to get all of that. For lips, I'm starting with MAC Strip Down Liner, which is a great nude lip liner, especially for these type of nude lips. And I'm just lining my entire lip with it. And then I'm going in with this palette from MAC, this lip palette. This is one of their nude palettes, and the color that I'm using is Peach Stock. You can get this color individually on its own. And I'm using a lip brush, and I'm just blending this in with the liner. This is kind of a key thing. You don't want the liner to stand out too much. I like it. I like this effect a bit more blended, but that's just me personally. I'm using a nude gloss in the center of my lip. I love this type of nude lip. I think it's so, so pretty. Thanks for watching, guys. Hello everyone, welcome back. So first things first, I'm going to be wearing this bow on my hair because my hair was just not cooperating at all. <laughs> so today I partnered with Vanity Planet to bring you this drugstore makeup tutorial. I'm using their vegan brush roll which is made out of ultra soft premium vegan brush hair which basically means there's no animal cruelty involved in the creating of these brushes and they are shed free and allergen free which is pretty cool now make sure you check the description box down below because i do have a huge discount code for these brushes so to both moisturize my skin and prime my skin i'm using the embryo lace 24 hour miracle cream now i'm not 100 percent sure if this is actually sold sold in drugstores but i know that it's really affordable so i'm just going to consider this a drugstore product because it's so good and so affordable and you all need to get on it. <laughs> For eyebrows, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Store pomade in the color chocolate. This is a tiny bit warm for me, but nonetheless, I just built it up and made it work. And I'm using the angled brush that comes in the kit to apply it, which also just worked amazing.
So to clean up my bras, I usually use the Tarte Shape Tape, but since this is a drugstore tutorial, I tried out the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 20, and you know what guys, it worked just as good. And then to prep my eyes, I'm also using the Maybelline Fit Me. And then I'm just using the Cody Espan to lock it all in place so we're ready for eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow, I found this Nico K eyeshadow palette for $5. Look how pigmented that is. I found this on beautyjoan.com, which is where I get so much of my drugstore makeup. And you guys, I was so impressed with the pigment. Now, you'll see, like, as I'm blending in, it is the tiniest bit patchy. But it's nothing that you can't sort of just, like, build up on and get your desired intensity. So I used a total of three shades. And this is kind of like a soft cut crease smoky eye I'm doing. Well, it's not a cut crease, but like a soft cut crease. And I went in with a really warm shade, and now I'm just going in with a shade a little bit cooler. And then now I'll just grab a slightly darker brown, which is the coolest shade. So I kind of like transitioned from warm to cool to make it look nice and gradient and obviously darker as it gets more defined in the crease. And then you just want to, of course, make sure you're blending it all together. Now what I like to do with a lot of my looks is use like a white or a cream eyeshadow to highlight my brow bone and also blend it down into the transition color so it gives a nice gradient blend up towards the eyebrow. So basically what I mean by a soft cut crease is that instead of using a concealer, I'm just using a white pigmented eyeshadow to kind of create that definition on the lid like you just saw in that photo which is from my bridal shower and obviously from Snapchat. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, I'll list it down here so that you guys can follow me and see all the makeup looks I do in my day to day life. So now that I've applied that white shadow, I'm just blending the crease all together. And that is it for eyeshadow. And now we're moving on to eyeliner. And for eyeliner, I'm using the oh so famous NYC liner in, I think it's called intense black or something black. There is two types of black and this one's like the blacker black. And then I just like to grab any makeup wipe and clean up any messy bits of eyeliner and eyeshadow around my eye. To coat my lashes, I use the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. And instead of using mink lashes, I decided to double the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes and the Creme Demi Wispies to create that really full lash look. On the picture you saw I was wearing mink lashes but since I'm using vegan brushes for this look I thought it was fitting to also use vegan lashes to go with the flow. <laughs> and there's my lashes. <laughs> So for foundation, I tried another really famous product, the Wet n Wild Photo Ready. And because it's so liquidy, I was like, okay, I better shake that. But oh my God, for $5.99, this foundation was, oh my God, what can I compare it to? It honestly kind of reminds me of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Now, I know that really, really hurts to hear because that is such a high-end expensive foundation. But I think it's actually good because if you don't want to spend the money on that, you can definitely get a similar finish with this $5.99 foundation. Now, the one thing I noticed about this is that it is kind of like a medium coverage, but it is buildable. So you'll see now... On my chin you can still see my little blemish there and you can also still see my beauty spot above my lip but I actually really like that about the foundation because it cancels out any darkness and discoloration on your face but if you do want to step it up that notch and go for severe full coverage all you have to do is build up on it which I did and I was just so impressed with the outcome so basically you can do anything with this foundation which I think is amazing for $5.99 
So for concealer, I'm using my favorite drugstore concealer ever, the Maybelline AJ Wind, and I use the color light. And I don't know if you can see, but I was literally right at the end of this tube. So I was on like the last little like twist up of the product, which means I have to go and buy a new one now. But I don't mind because for the price of it, it's just such good value and such a good product. And it's one product that I definitely always just go back and buy over and over. So to blend my concealer, I did it in a really different way to what I usually do. And I use the um, foundation brush and I love how seamlessly it blends it out. The concealer, it kept every single bit of the coverage. Usually, like sometimes you use a particular brush and it'll eat up some of the product. But because this is a synthetic brush, it doesn't soak up your makeup, which is what I loved most about this brush set because I love the idea of not having to be, I mean... I love having to be generous with my concealer, but I love the idea that my brush isn't going to soak up all my product. And then just to make sure the concealer blends in with my foundation, I just took my sponge and blended all the edges together. So my face looked nice and flawless. So a powder that I use day in, day out, and it is drugstore, is the LA Girl Pro Face Powder. And I use this powder every single day. I actually don't even have a high-end one that I use. This is the only one that I use. And then to bake under my eyes, I use the Cody Urspan, which honestly, guys, could be the most finely milled powder I've ever used in my life. And then just to make sure my face stays nice and matte, I love to apply that all over the rest of my face, which did a really good job of blurring my skin out because the powder is so finely milled. So today I used the Wet n Wild contour palette for the first time and the color is called Dusha Lecce and I freaking loved this. The contour shade was so beautiful in color and it wasn't patchy. It was honestly perfect for my skin tone and then the banana shade, it wasn't too yellow. It was more of like a pale banana powder which I also loved a lot and I think this was about six or seven dollars and I just cannot understand how these drugstore brands are seriously competing so well with the high-end brands. It's really impressing me today and because I don't really use drugstore makeup that often, I'm a little shook right now and this means that I'm going to do so many more drugstore tutorials because I low-key think they're even better than the high-end makeup tutorials. So now I'm just using that banana powder to wipe away the bake. Um, the reason why I like to apply powder on the brush rather than just wiping it away is because I feel like it adds a little bit more coverage and takes away from that whiteness and keeps a little bit of color under the eye. And then I'm just using the short shader brush from the set to contour my nose and I'm just contouring with powder today. But this brush was a tiny bit dense. I should have used something a little bit softer. So it did make it a little bit intense but after I contoured, I just kind of blended it out and it all worked out. So now I'm just using whatever powders left on the brush and then whatever products left on my sponge to just make sure we get rid of those harsh lines. And then my nose was as good as new. <laughs> So this was my first time using the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette and I literally got my brush and just smeared it along every single color and I really love the blush color that came out. It was just a pretty soft natural blush which is what I like. And then to bronze up my face a little bit more, I used the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer. And it's just like a really soft shimmery bronze, which gives your skin a beautiful glow. 
for highlight i got my hands on the wet and wild highlighter in petal pusher which oh my god we need a moment of silence for this highlighter it is to me it's a dupe for the laura geller gilded honey which most of you would know is my favorite highlighter so i really love this one now i know that it is sold out a lot in a lot of places in the u.s i managed to get mine off like a third party site in australia that sells drugstore products for like triple the price so i didn't exactly get it for the price point it's meant to be but i don't care because it was still so worth paying like double the price <laughs> And then I always like to just bake under my contour so it looks nice and chiseled. So now I'm just, I kind of mix like every color together that I used on my crease and I use that to smoke out my lower lash line. And I'm just using the smaller size blending brush. So there's two blending brushes in the set. There was one bigger fluffier one and this is the smaller one. And then usually I'll just wipe away my bake after I've done my under eye shadow. And then my face is pretty much set. And then I'm going back in with the Jordana Best, Best Lash Extreme on my lower lash line. And this is the way I test a mascara out to see if it's good or not. And as you can see, it was a freaking bomb mascara. So I really, really like this one. And I think it was about $5. I kind of forget the prices of everything. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But just want to give you guys a rough kind of estimate of how much they cost. So to set my makeup, I used the Gerard Cosmetics Mystified. As you can see, it decided to play me. But then after I sprayed it, it started to come out nice and seamlessly. Um, this is is the best product to like melt all your makeup together and what I like to do is just press it in with a brush to make sure there's no like little blotches on my skin and it's really pressed into that product so you know your makeup is not going anywhere all day. For lips I used the City Color Auto Lip Liner in Nude and this was my first time using this lip liner so it's basically just like a wind up one and it's a really nice pigment it comes off on your lips really nicely and it's a gorgeous color and correct me if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure this is a 99 cent lip liner so this is definite value for money for lips i use the nyx high voltage lipstick in the color flawless which is a really pretty nude So I decided my lips were just a tiny bit too nude for this look. So I took that pinky nude blush from the palette and I just pressed that into my lipstick. And that basically, you can do that with any eyeshadow or blush and that's going to give you your desired shade for the lips. And it also mattifies it, which ideally means your lipstick is going to last longer. So that's a little beauty hack for you guys. <laughs> And then you just want to blend it all together to make sure it's all pressed in and lips are done. So guys, that is it for my drugstore makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, thank you to Vanity Planet for partnering with me on this video. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi everyone! Today I'm doing a tutorial on the character from the movie Frozen. And yes, I'm going to show you guys how you can look like the beautiful and regal Queen Elsa. I love how she learned to accept who she was in the movie by letting it all go. So if you want to look like Queen Elsa, then keep watching. So first take your foundation sponge and I love that this one looks like a flower and I'm just going to take that petal off, make sure it's dampened and then I'm going to pick up the lightest liquid foundation that I have and I'm gently going to pat that all over my face. Now that your skin looks as bright as snow, take your powder foundation and just apply it all over your face with your kabuki brush. 
Queen Elsa's brows are thin and arched and they're dark brown. So take your dark brown eyebrow cake and your angled brush and just start shaping your brows. I love her eye makeup just because I love applying purple to my eyes. So now I'm going to take this really pigmented purple eyeshadow and apply it on the corners of my eyelids. Next, I'm going to pick up this really pretty light purple eyeshadow and this is going to go right on the center of my eyelids. Then I'm going to take this pinkish red eyeshadow which I would usually not wear but Elsa rocks it. So I'm just going to apply this on the corner of my purple eyeshadow and blend it really well. To make my eyes look more animated, I'm going to take my black eyeshadow and I'm just going to start creating this dome shape which is similar to Elsa's eyelids. Then I'm going to take my jet black eyeliner and I'm going to start lining it from the inner eye corners and just dragging it across the upper lash line and make sure the line is really thick. And after that, you can lightly wing it at the corner. Now I'm going back with that purple eyeshadow and lining my lower lash line. Elsa has that really cute button shaped nose almost similar to Rapunzel so I'm just going to contour that and then I'm going to take my light brown eyebrow pencil just to create freckles underneath my eyes and on my nose. Now I'm just going to use the help of my white eyeliner to make my eyes look bigger and also eyelashes make all the difference. So I'm going to take this beautiful long lashes and just start gluing them on my upper lash line. I'm also going to add some lower lashes just because my lower lashes are barely visible compared to Elsa. And I'm going to finish off my eye makeup using my favorite drugstore mascara. For the blush, I'm going to take this paper blush which I think is pretty neat. And then I'm just going to rub that paper on the sides of my cheeks and also a little bit on my nose. For the lips, I'm going to take this raspberry red lip liner and Elsa's lips are a lot smaller than mine so I'm just going to start creating a new lip shape and just filling that in. Also her upper lip is a lot darker than her lower lip so after you're done filling the lower lip then dab a little bit of blush on top. I can't be Elsa with my dark hair so I'm just going to put on my wig cap and here's this gorgeous blonde wig that EXO from EXO Wig Shop made for me and I'm just going to put that on and style it a little bit. Now that my hair and makeup is done, I'm going to show you guys my Elsa dress. So I got the beaded blue skirt and the fabric for my back from eBay and I made the sequin corset gluing all the blue sequins individually on it. The blouse is actually a light blue pantyhose which I decorated with glitter. And that's how you guys can look like the beautiful Queen Elsa. Also, if you guys want to build a snowman with me, then don't forget to click this link and I'll show you guys how you can make your own Olaf. So thanks for watching and until next time, take care and bye-bye! Hey guys, Stina here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on this eye makeup you see here. So a nice sort of brownie smoky eye. Now if you're a beginner, this is a really simple tutorial to follow. And for those of you who are pros and want to see how I recreate this look, keep watching and I'll show you how. Show you how. So guys, before I start, check this out. I've got have this like scar that's in a shape of a fish it's like it's swimming down to my mic so you wouldn't believe where i got this from i got it from when i was doing laundry i was taking out my jacket and it had a zipper on it and so it was really hot out of the dryer so when i took it i was sort of like pulled all the clothes out and that jacket had that silver zipper and it went onto my skin story of my life anyway so let's continue with this tutorial So first off, I'm going to start by priming my lid with MAC Soft Ochre and I'm just going to use my finger to apply that and blend that in. This is going to help my eyeshadow last longer and help everything stay in place. 
Then I'm going to apply another MAC Paint Pot called Quite Natural and I'll be applying that all over my lid using my MAC 217 brush. So I'm just going to apply the shade all over my lid and start blending it up. I love using this brush to blend out my eyeshadows and cream products because it does all the work for me. I just have to go back and forth, back and forth and ta-da! It's all nicely blended. Oh, and before I forget, I'm actually going to apply a bit of tape across just so it acts like a guard and I can get that sort of line really nice and straight before I put on my eyeshadows. So I'm just going to apply that on. This is going to help with my eyeliner as well. So this is a nice trick and um, it catches all the fallout as well. So win-win. Okay, next I'm going to apply my MAC Uninterrupted and that's going to go in the crease and act like a transition shade. To apply that, I'll be using my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush, so another fluffy guy. So I'm just applying Uninterrupted through my crease and that's just going to blend through and create a nice transition. For the center of my lid, I'll be applying MAC Lie Low and I'm just going to apply that again with a 217 brush. And I'm just going to pat that color in to the center of my lid. For the outer corners, I'll be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Rich Brown Eyeshadow. And I'll be applying that with my Sigma Shader Brush E56. So this shade is going to go towards the outer corner and I'm going to create a small V. And because I have the tape there, I'm not scared that I'll go too far out or anything because that acts as a guard for me. So I'm just going to bring that color up and just blend it through into the center of my lid. Now I'm going to go back into my transition color, which was uninterrupted. And I'm just going to, again, blend that color through just to soften out all the lines. So once I'm happy with my eyeshadow and everything's nicely blended, I'm going to go in and line my eyes with MAC Black Track. For this, I'm just going to apply it with my Sigma E11 eyeliner brush. So I'm going to start off in the center and just bring that liner out and just along where my tape is. So again, this acts like a guard, so I'm not going to be worried that my line's not going to be straight. And I'm going to line it pretty close to my natural lash line. After I apply my eyeliner and I'm happy with the overall look, I'm just going to peel away the tape. Then I'm just going to clean up underneath. And you can see how nice and sharp that line is and it's all nice and clean. Voila! Magic! Now I'm going to highlight my inner corners using my Naked 2 palette and I'll be using Half Baked and a bit of Booty Call, so a bit of them to mix together. So I'm just going to apply that with my Sigma pencil brush, my E30 brush, and I'm just tapping that color through the inner corners of my eye. And I'm just going to bring it in slightly to the first third. Then I'm going to do the same with my lower lash line, so I'm just going to apply a little bit under here. Now I'm going to reverse what I did up here, but for my lower lash line. So first I'm going to go in with uninterrupted and apply that along my lower lash line. And I'll be using my Sigma E56 again. Now with this color, you can bring it down low as far as you like. So depending if you want your eyes to look bigger or not, you can bring it a bit lower. Um, but for me, I'm just going to stop about there. Then using the same brush, I'm going to grab Lilo again. And then again, work that through my lower lash line, this time sticking a bit closer to my waterline. So now I'm going to go in with Rich Brown and apply that closer to my waterline. Next, I'm going to line my waterline with MAC Pro Longwear Eyeliner in Black Ice. So I'm just going to run that all the way through to the start into the outer corner of my eye. Oh, it's getting a little bit watery. Who else has this problem? Their eyes just start to water like crazy. <sighs> You'd think I'd, be, I'd get used to it by now, but that's, that's not the case, is it? Then I'm just gonna apply a nice pair of lashes. I'm gonna apply one and a half pairs, actually. So this one's the first. 
Now this pair of false lashes you can get on eBay, so I'll leave the link for you guys down below. But with this pair, you can see that both ends are short, so it's not like a cat eye one. So what I like to do is I, I grab another pair and I cut that one in half, and with the longer end, I'm gonna apply that to my outer corner. So that's why I'm using one and a half pairs. So I'm just gonna apply it on top, like so, and just use my fingers to press the two layers together. Now with lashes, as they're drying, I always like to use my finger to push them up a little bit so they stay nice and upright and not dropping and making your eyes droopy, okay? So whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to use my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara. This is a little sample one that I got from David Jones and I'm, I'm loving this for my lower lashes actually. So I'm just going to apply that along my lower lashes just to give it more depth and definition because I barely have any lashes. Actually, I think I have more bottom lashes than my top lashes. So I'm gonna apply about two coats of this. And then I'm just gonna brush some along my top lashes just to blend my natural lash and the two layers of lashes I have on top. So now that the top has dried, I'm going to go in and line over um, the lash band. So where all that gunky glue is, I'm just gonna line over that just to make the line nice and smooth. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Please let me know in the comment box below what other videos you wanna see. Also, I am making a big commitment and I'm going to focus on my YouTube channel um, from now on. So I'm going to try and get a schedule into place. Well, not try, I'm going to get a schedule into place and I'm going to upload every Tuesday. So one video a week. I think that's, I think that's quite manageable. I mean, I've seen other guys do it. I'm pretty sure I could do it. Anyway, so Tuesdays are going to be my new days where I upload. So make sure you like, share and subscribe to stay updated with future videos. Also, I've been meaning to do a get to know me type video for a while now and um, I've just been putting it off. I don't know why, but uh, that's gonna be something in the future that I'm gonna do probably in the next couple weeks. So if you guys have any questions or things you wanna know about me, please leave it, oh, I can't speak. Please leave it in the comment box below and I'll try and answer them in that video. Anyways, I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a drugstore fall makeup tutorial and I love makeup looks like this for the fall time. It's just, I just love a really pretty like smoked out outer corner, this kind of red burgundy that goes with like a nice burgundy brown lip color. If you haven't noticed yet, I've been posting videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So that is my schedule. And if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe, but let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial. First, I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids and I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And I wanted to do my eyeshadow first today just so if there's any fallout or anything like that, I can clean it up. And I also wanted more of a defined edge over here. So that's why I'm doing my eyeshadow first. And since I'm gonna be using some darker colors today, that could possibly have fallout, so. And then I'm just gonna let that eyeshadow primer dry for a minute. I find that it's better if you let eyeshadow prim primers kind of dry for like a minute before you put your eyeshadow on so it doesn't, you know, grip in weird spots and not blend well. I'm just gonna put on this Milani Keep It Smooth um, lip conditioner. And if you are wondering what nail polish I have on, it is OPS Miami Beat. And it's beat like the Vegetable beat, B-E-E-T, not beat as in like a drum beat. <laughs> it's like a play on words. Okay, so I'm gonna be using most of the colors out of the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Vitality palette today. And I might use some other colors from some other palettes. I'm just gonna see how this go goes and what I decide to do. Um, 
But first I'm just gonna go in with this shade, just knocked my elbow on my table. I'm just gonna go in with this shade first and I'm just gonna use my Morphe four, er, M433 brush and I'm just gonna blend that color in the crease. And I really like this palette. I mean, the shadows can have a little bit of fallout, but honestly, I feel like they blend so nice. And for, I think this palette was like $8 or $7 from Ulta. I just think that's an awesome deal. It's just so good. And then I'm just gonna blend out here. And it doesn't really matter out here so much, you know, if it gets down too far, cause I'm gonna clean that up before I do my foundation. I feel like this shadow is just so easy to blend. It's very pigmented. I'm just using windshield wiper motions, just blending it back and forth. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'm just packing that color on my Sigma E60 brush. And this color really isn't the most pigmented by itself, so I do recommend to use a makeup setting spray with it. I'm just gonna mist my brush with my MAC Fix Plus. And I just find that when you do that with that eyeshadow, it really kicks it up like kicks it up a notch and it just makes it look more intense on your eyelid. And I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other eye. Next I'm gonna go in with this shade here. And I'm just using my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just gonna pat that color out here first and then I'm gonna blend. And I actually want that color to be more red. It's it looks a little more pink than what I was hoping it would. So I'm just gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Fierce's Fire palette. And this shade down here, it's like a brick red. And I'm just gonna go on top of that other one. So I would say, you know, if, if I was like doing this over, if I was doing this over, I wouldn't use that first red and I would just go in with this one just cause this was more of the red I was going for. And then I'm just taking my clean Sigma E25 blending and I'm just gonna go around the edges of that to blend that out first before I add anything. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of that shadow, that brick red, get it on the tip of this brush and I'm just going to Lightly blend that here in the outer V. And I'm gonna be adding some other colors here in a minute to this to deepen this up. But I just want this to kind of peek out behind the darker colors that I'm gonna use. So I'm just going to really smoke this out but just keep it in the outer V area. I'm gonna just kind of build on this. So next I'm going in with this color down here and I'm just gonna wipe off that e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm gonna pack some of that color on the brush and I'm just gonna go on top of the other color like I'm just gonna slowly start adding darker colors to this red to just deepen it up. I'm gonna get a little bit of that color on this brush, the Sigma E25, and I'm just gonna lightly blend that. Then 
This is just gonna create a really pretty smoky effect. And then I do wanna go back with that first brown that I used in the crease. And I'm just going to blend just a little bit because I don't want to completely lose that cooler tone. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this really dark brown. Just gonna wipe that um, e.l.f. concealer brush off again. And I'm just gonna pat this like a little bit further down on the eye. Like see how you still have the red peeking out right there? But I'm just patting that color down here. Just gonna do that over here. So I just wiped off this Sigma E25 blending, um, got some more of that really dark brown, and I'm just going to lightly blend that here in the outer V. I just really like all these colors together, it's so fall. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with an even smaller crease brush. I'm just gonna go in with my Wet n Wild crease brush, and I'm gonna grab some of the black color in this palette. And I'm just going to pat that color even further down on the lid, just right out here. I really feel like this creates a really pretty like gradient effect for the outer V. I really like this. I'm gonna grab a more precise um, crease brush and this is the Jane Ardell crease brush and I'm gonna get some of that black on the tip of that brush and I'm just gonna barely work this out here. I don't want to take this out too far at all. Just using little, little circular motions and just pulling it in just ever so slightly. I am gonna go back with my Sigma E25 blending. I'm just gonna wipe it off. And I'm gonna go back with the Fierce S Fire palette. And I actually got this palette free whenever I ordered um, some Makeup Revolution stuff from Ulta. So I don't know how much this palette is, like if you were to just buy it, but my guess is it's probably around the same price as their uh, Reloaded palettes. But I'll have to link it down below for you guys. Um, but I don't know if Ulta still has that deal right now. So, um, I think it's a really great deal to get this for free. It's a really nice palette. I'm just going in with some more of that color and I'm just blending that just a little bit over those colors here in the outer V. I just really want it to look like a deep, smoky, like red, you know, kind of like the color of my nail polish. Like I just wanted to, wanted it to have that look. So that's why I kind of built on it and made it darker. It just, I don't know, really like the look of that. And I might actually go on the lid um, with a different color besides this because I just wanted it to be a little bit more intense. So I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. <clears throat> Sorry, I feel like my voice just cut out. My L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Ice Latte. Go in with my finger and do the Ice Latte thing. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm kinda all over <laughs> in this tutorial today. I should have like practiced this look so I would be like more precise with telling you guys what to do. I'm just kind of doing this as I go, like just coming up with this makeup look as I go. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the Makeup Revolution Metal Eyeshadow in Rose Gold, and hopefully this does not mess up my look. 
this stuff is so creamy and so intense. I might actually go in with a brush. It might be easier to apply it that way, like more precise, anyhow. But I don't know how well that product gets onto a brush. Well, I guess it works okay. Okay, so <laughs> you might could skip some of those steps that I just did, but I was just curious to try out some of these products. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my liquid liner. Well, I guess maybe should I clean up first? I might clean up first and then do my liquid liner. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm just using a makeup remover wipe and I'm just gonna wipe off all that fallout. It's the only bad thing about those eyeshadows, especially the dark ones. I don't really have a lot of issues with the lighter ones, but the dark ones especially have some fallout. Okay, and then I'm just gonna clean this up out here. For my liquid liner, I'm just going in with this black e.l.f. liquid liner. I'm just going back with a little bit more of that, the Fiercest Fire palette in that red. And I'm just going to put some more of that up here because I wanted it to be more red up in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and I'm going to do false lashes today. And for my false lashes, I'll show them to you, i got to get them out of my drawer. I'm just going to use the Ardell Demi Wispies. So just whatever mascara you want to use. I'm probably going to use... I guess my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black because this is the mascara I like to use whenever I do false lashes. So I'm just going to do just a light coat of this and then I'm just going to go ahead and put those false lashes on. So for my foundation, I'm going to go in with a mix of these two, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and the Pro Glow. I have been loving mixing these two foundations together and I usually just do equal parts or I might do just slightly a little bit more of the Pro Glow than the Pro Matte just because the Pro Matte shade that I have is slightly a little too dark for me. Um, the shade that I'm using in the Pro Matte is 102 and in the Pro Glow is 202. So I'm just going to mix it on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to dot some of this here on my face. And I'll link down below or list list and link down below all the products that I'm using today. Um, and I'll also list what I use as my skincare stuff because I did that while the lash glue and everything was drying off camera. Sometimes I feel like that just gets so redundant, like doing the skincare stuff. But I'll just list down below what I use for you guys. And I'm just blending this foundation in with my infallible... Beauty Blender from L'Oreal, and I did dampen this off camera. So with these foundations, you don't have to work in sections, but I just like doing that. So just usually start it on this side. Today is the first day of fall, the day that I'm posting this, which I think I already mentioned that in the intro, or I'm going to, because I haven't filmed the intro yet. Um, but I seriously hope it starts feeling like fall time around here soon which I'm sure it will, but um, I just love fall weather. I love it when the trees are changing colors, and I don't know. I think another reason why I really like fall is because whenever I was in high school, I was in marching band, and it just brings back those memories of, you know, going to the marching band competitions and going to the football games at school and stuff like that, so... I don't know, it just brings back a lot of really good memories. So I think that's another reason why I just really enjoy fall. And I know it's like kind of so basic to <laughs> love fall so much, but it really is my favorite season of the year. It's just so nice, like the weather's nice, there's just so much to do and I don't know. It's just the best time of year for me. And then for my concealer, I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. And then I'm just going in with my Dampened Mini Real Technique Sponge. 
and I'm just going to blend that out. Just using little patting motions. Always want to pat your concealer in. And then to set everything, you guys know the routine on this. I'm just going to use my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable and my e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder. I might just use just the littlest amount of that HD Under Eye Setting Powder because, I don't know, I feel like lately my under eyes have been kind of dry. So, you know, sometimes when you use setting powders underneath, it just makes it look that much more dried out. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to use my e.l.f. brush. And then I'm just going to go with just a little bit of that setting powder and just lightly dust that underneath here. I don't want to use too much because like I said, I've been feeling kind of dry on my under eyes. And then with my eyebrows, I'm just going to fill them in just a little bit. They finally healed up from their microblading like perfecting appointment. My coffee is so cold now. <laughs> um, so... I'm just going to go in, well, actually, since this is a drugstore tutorial, I'm not going to go in with that. Let's go in with um, my Maybelline, or my Maybelline, my Milani Brow Fix Brow Kits, and I'm going to use some of this middle shade right here, and I'm just going to fill in my brows just a little. I feel like it's been forever since I've used this kit for filling in my brows. I use it all the time for eyeshadow. I'm just going to use my Essence Make Me Brow. contour a little bit first and I'm just going to use my NYX blush and taupe and my Morphe M504 brush and I'm just going to lightly contour I just feel like since I have more of a dramatic look going on today I just want to contour a little bit And it's best if you just get a little bit of that on your brush because it's better to build up a contour than to go in super strong and then try to make it not look as strong. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this and also run it down the sides of my nose just to contour a little bit. And to just give my face a little bit more definition. This is totally optional. But I find since this brush is more precise, it's easier to do that sort of thing. And I'm just going to kind of contour my jawline a little bit. Okay, and then for my bronzer, I'm going in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And my Morphe R2 brush. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite brushes for bronzing. This brush and my Real Techniques powder brush, I love. Love both of those brushes for bronzing. Usually what I do is I go in with my R2 here on my cheeks because it's a little smaller and more precise. And then when I go to bronze my forehead, which here in a second I'll show you, I go in with my Real Techniques powder brush. So my Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm so surprised that I have not hit pan on this Real Techniques bronzer. Real Techniques. <laughs> Physician's Formula bronzer yet because I feel like I use it so much and have not hit pan on it yet. I mean, a lot of the little ridges on that bronzer are gone, but I haven't hit pan on that bronzer yet, which is surprising. But I just blend around my hairline. Pepper's so upset hers wants to come in. Maybe I should let her in. Pepper, are you 
you so upset? Hers wants to come in here and be with her mama. Yeah, well, hers cannot stand up you with her mommy. Yeah. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. <laughs> Oops. Now that I brought her in here, she'll probably want to go right back out because I closed the door, but I don't want to leave it open right now. Be good, Peppy. Okay. I feel like I got cat hair on my face. I think today I'm gonna use my Mochalicious lipstick from Wet n Wild. I was debating between this and Cherry Balm. I don't really know which one I wanna use because Cherry Balm is like darker and more intense. And then uh, Mochalicious is a little more wearable, more brown. I could totally get away with either. I don't know, like I kind of want to do Cherry Bomb just because it's so out there, but I don't know, I feel like I did Cherry Bomb recently in another tutorial. So let's do Mochalicious. We're just going to do Mochalicious today. Peppy, are you up on my lap? And I'm just going to line my lips with my Rimmel um, Exaggerate Lip Liner in Epic. I'm just going in with Mochalicious from Wet n Wild. Can you see her? Are you gonna get up on a chair? You gonna get back there? Do you smell coffee breath? <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the blush and the highlights. I know you guys probably get sick of me using this blush, but I'm sorry, it's just like my favorite and I'm gonna use this. <laughs> this is my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne. And I'm just gonna put that here on my cheeks. It's just the perfect blush, especially when you do looks like this where, you know, you don't want the cheeks to be too overpowering, like the color. And then for my highlight, so this was one of the other Makeup Revolution things that I ordered and this is the, I don't even know what this is called because the sleeve. I think I may have thrown the packaging away on this, but this is just one of their highlighting palettes and I love all the colors in here, so pretty. But I'm gonna go in with a mix of these two highlight shades here and I'm just going to use my Real Techniques contour brush. But these highlights are so intense. So intense. I just love these. Really been enjoying it ever since I bought it. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it here on my nose, kind of like down the center of my face. The last step that I'm gonna do with this look is I'm just gonna mist my face with makeup setting spray just to lock all this on. I'm getting ready to go to church here in a minute. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I hope that you guys did enjoy this drugstore fall makeup tutorial. I just love this lip color in Mochalicious because it's a darker like nude, like a darker brown nude and it's like a good fall lip where it's intense but it's not so intense that you feel like self-conscious for wearing it because like I love the cherry bomb color but sometimes it's so dark I feel like everybody's just looking at my lips so I hope that you guys did enjoy this if you did please give this video a thumbs up let me know what other fall makeup looks you would like to see and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye
guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope your day is going well so far. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me tutorial on this look here. I was really craving like a dramatic, deep, vampy fall lip just because I've been playing it safe with like my traditional smoky, rosy mauves and I was just like, I want something deep and dark and in your face. So this is the look we went for. Also in my last video, my current favorites, I had several of y'all asking for an eye tutorial because I've just been all over these like camo, olive, army green lids lately. I just can't get enough, especially if you have brown or hazel eyes. But I went through kind of like my more affordable and drugstore makeup products and decided to just combine them all into one video. That way we could just do a full face of affordable products. I use some Alme, L'Oreal, Maybelline, Catrice, Flower Beauty. There's like a good hodgepodge of brands in this video. Also, if you guys like my necklace, this is still available at MirandaFryJewelry.com. I will have it linked down below. This is the Dinah necklace. I don't have a bra on, so I just don't wanna go up all the way. But I love this. I'm always getting questions about the jewelry that I wear. So if you guys are interested, I will leave it linked down below. I do have a coupon code as well. That way we can be all matchy matchy twinsies in our like BFF necklaces. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video to do this look. <laughs> the palette that I'm going to use today is from JCat Beauty. This is the Take Me Away Majestic Galaxy. This just launched on the 17th. There's three different 21 eyeshadow palettes available. I did unbox two of them, including this one, over on my Instagram story. So if you guys are curious, if you just check out the highlight reels that says new makeup, you can see some swatches in there. But this is what Majestic Galaxy looks like. In my recent video titled Current Favorites, I had a kind of like olive green look on my lids. A lot of y'all wanted to see it tutorial on that so I thought I would recreate it using this palette here as of right now I believe this is only available on their site at jcatbeauty.com but they do have several other palettes available on Ulta's site so I'm hoping maybe eventually they will link it on there as well but it's only $13.99 for 21 shadows so I thought that was a total steal so for my brow bones the shadow that I just applied is called Naked Eye then for my crease I am going to start off with something warmer first just because that is what I had in my crease earlier but then we will go in with some olives as well so let's go ahead and start off with Sunburst I haven't used any of these on my eyes yet I've only used them to swatch on my arms the mattes like didn't seem as pigmented swatched but on the eyes it's a whole nother story it looks like these are going to be super blendable and pigmented so i'm just going to run this through my crease and as always i like to pull it up just a touch i think i'm going to go in and mix a little bit of stellar as well that one just looks like it's slightly deeper maybe with a little bit more red Ooh, yes Wow, these are really nice. I did receive some other palettes from JCat Beauty that were more like in a tall rectangle. The metallics in those were really nice, but I kind of had trouble with some of the mattes in there, but these mattes look really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and grab another fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M505, and I just like this one to really go in and blend out the shades even more. You guys follow me on Instagram stories and you saw that I was a little bit busy this week I recently joined the junior service league here in town so just doing like volunteer work in the community because I always think it's important to give back especially if you have the spare time to do so but we hosted a little like VIP kickoff party for an event that we have coming up and it was so much fun we got to like set up tablescapes and got to help with flowers and everything seeing all the flowers and like pumpkins everywhere made me so happy i love like fall decor it's just one of my absolute favorites besides christmas but one of the florists there designed this like eight foot floral hoop that people could take pictures in it was beautiful there was like rich like reds and yellows in there i'll go ahead and insert a photo because it was amazing. It made me wish that I could get married all over again just to have that at my wedding because it was stunning. Like talk about Pinterest dreams coming true. Okay, now since I do know that I want some olive on my lid, I'm gonna go in with Formation, which is kind of this like army green shade here. In fact, let me go ahead and woo, let's zoom y'all in. Maybe about right there. I'm gonna take some of that on, not that brush because it's looking real dirty. Ooh, this color is really pretty. Okay, let's see how they mix. Hopefully nothing gets like muddy. No, this seems to be working pretty well. I mentioned in my last video, I've been like so sucked into these olive shades lately. I just think they are so, so pretty. 
All right, now for my lid, I wanna go in with this kind of metallic green right here called Light Years. I think that will be so pretty as the base because I am still going to add glitter on top just because I can't get enough of the glitter lately. I just love it. This is a shadow primer that I've been loving from the brand Carity. This is a really affordable kind of eyeshadow brand. They do have some liquid lips as well. I haven't played with those too, too much yet, but I have been really impressed by their shadows so far. So this one is just their long lasting anti-crease primer. It has a doe foot applicator. And I like this because it's not super, super opaque, but it has enough color in there to kind of like give my lids like a boost of color whenever I go in to apply something like a bit deeper. Just like how you use like NYX, well I guess how we used to use NYX jumbo pencil back in the day just to kind of add brightness to a color. This does that without being like stark, stark white and it still gives like a nice tacky base. I'm kind of between light years or starstruck. St Actually, you know what? I think we're gonna do Starstruck instead, just because this is more of like a true army green type of color. And I'm just going to press that right onto my lid on top of that eyeshadow primer. You know what? Just for shits and giggles, we're gonna go ahead and take some of Light Years too, because I'm curious and I have to know what it looks like. So we're just gonna mix these two together. Just going to press it right on. My nails are like an insane color right now. I let Landon pick my nail polish color the other day because I placed an order on Amazon for some more like gel polishes and he picked this one at first. I was like, oh, I don't know. And I'm not going to lie. The more that I look at it, I really like it. It kind of like reminds me of a bubbly fish tank or like mermaid vibes. It's different, but it just makes me happy that he picked it. And then going in with the star of the show, if you guys caught that favorites video, I have not been able to put this shadow down. This is from Flower Beauty. It's their Warrior Glitter Shadow in the shade Camo. It is so, so beautiful. If you have brown or hazel eyes, this just really pulls out like any flecks of gold that you have in your eyes and it really makes your eyes pop. I love it so much. So you just have this slanted doe foot applicator. So I like to just go in and like stamp it right on my eyes. As you can see, it has like a really nice pigmented base, but still having that green underneath helps too, just to really kind of amplify it. So I will pull it up a little bit higher than like my natural fold because then you wouldn't be able to see the shadows whenever I open my eyes. And then while it's still tacky, I just like to go in and kind of help it by tapping it out a bit. These do dry down pretty quickly though. I like to mix it. It's beautiful just like this, but if you just add hints of gold in there, it's even prettier. So I kind of go back and forth between both of these. Flame is beautiful, but no, we're gonna stick with flame just because I feel like this looks like a beautiful crunchy fall leaf. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this and kind of concentrate this a little bit more here in the center. And then just like I did earlier, I'm gonna take my finger and just tap it out. And that combination of the gold and green is just stunning because whenever it hits the light, it's like, oh yeah, I'm gold. No, just kidding, I'm olive. I'm just gonna go in and take universe, maybe universe and evolution, and just really kind of darken up that outer corner. Grab this and really just start packing it right into the outer corner. I know I've talked about Gossip Girl like forever ago on my channel. That was like one of my favorite shows besides like Sons of Anarchy or Breaking Bad, which I feel like is like two opposite spectrums. Like, hey, I like Walter White and I like Serena. Um, but if y'all like to binge on like Lifetime movies, you know, every now and then you just want a really good, cheesy, corny Lifetime movie. There's this new show called You and Dan Humphreys from Gossip Girl is in it and basically he kind of plays this like creepy stalker but you don't really know he's a creepy stalker because like his outside persona just seems like a charming like helpful bookstore salesman but y'all I love it there's only two episodes right now but it's so good but I can't help but just think like no you're Dan Humphrey if you're like me and you're sad Gossip Girl is done but you feel like you just need like an extra dose without having to watch Gossip Girl you should watch you on Lifetime. So good. I feel like everyone and their mother has been talking about Ozarks lately too. And I keep telling Keegan that I'm going to watch the first season so then we can watch the second together because he had already watched the first season. Him and my dad, like I think they binged it at the same time. I'm just gonna take a baby wipe because I'm out of makeup wipes. 
And I'm just gonna wipe this outer corner away. So now that I have all of my eyeshadow on, I'm gonna go in and prime my face. For my primer today, I'm gonna be using this one from Maybelline. I've had this one for forever. In fact, I think they've repackaged or at least like relabeled it now, but this is the Master Prime Blur and Illuminate. So I really like this just because of <clears throat> ow, the illuminating pearl finish that it gives. Just think it brings some brightness back to my skin, especially here on my under eyes and cheeks where I feel like my skin is looking real dull and sleepy. Plus this smells so good and fresh. The foundation that I'm using today, I actually used this once before and I feel like I was kind of like on the fence about it. I haven't used it in a while, but they've recently sent over a PR package because they extended their shade range. I believe that there's 18 shades now. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. I feel like this is bigger now too. I don't think that the bottle that I bought was this big. This just feels bulkier. So I have medium beige and golden beige. Both of these might be too dark, but it's hard to tell because it has a frosted label. So let's go ahead and just start off with medium beige first. This says that it's mattifying, but I wanna say I heard Kathleen talk about how much she liked this. And I feel like she's normally kind of like on the normal to dry side like me. Oh, I think this will be a good color. Okay, so I'm gonna take some on the back of my hand first. This may be better with a brush, but I'm gonna start off with a sponge. I'm actually using a beauty blender today because I don't know if my flower beauty sponge just like rolled off my vanity. I looked everywhere and I can't find it. Like I checked under the day bed, under my desk. Wow, I feel like this is like literally my perfect shade. It has just the right amount of yellow in it and it's, pretty darn full coverage with this sponge. Um, it does look just a little bit heavy though. We're gonna let it sit longer and see what it does. But that was all the foundation. I took one drop of it, but I'm thinking my sponge probably soaked up quite a bit because as you can see, it is super, super runny. Feels nice and lightweight though. I do kind of wish I would have went in with like the Tarte smoothing primer like right here in my smile lines because I have a feeling it's gonna kind of settle in there. This is from Lottie London. It's called Got It Covered Sponge Applicator Concealer. This one is in the shade Maple. So it just has a really nice, soft, fuzzy sponge. I don't know how this, sh oh no. This might be, that's like my skin color. It's not, I want something brighter for my under eyes. Do I have another shade of this? Okay, I just found another one, ow, in Shell. I should hold my horses and see what this coverage is like before I go in and go crazy with it. It does have a really thin formula. My concealer face is seriously the ugliest. I make the dumbest faces. So I'm trying to look a little bit less crazy. Oh wow, that has good coverage. All right, y'all, I spoke too soon on that concealer. I just went in with some of the e.l.f. under eye setting powder. I'm not happy with the way that my under eyes look. That concealer just emphasized dryness on my under eyes. Like if you have really great hydrated under eyes, the coverage is nice, but my under eyes are an area where I already feel like I have lots of crepiness. I go in with so much under eye cream, like that's an area that I'm definitely self-conscious about. And I just feel like it made them look even drier. So yeah, if you have dry under eyes, I wouldn't recommend that concealer. This is from Profusion. It's the Sculpt and Glow Nine Color Contour and Highlight Palette and Brush. You can find this brand at Target. I don't know if Walgreens still carries this because that's where I remember first seeing Profusion, but Target does now carry like several products from them, including eyeshadow palettes as well. Okay, so inside you have six highlighters and then you have a row of contouring products down here as well as this little brush. So we are gonna go in with a medium sculpt. I don't know if I wanna take this brush because what if it's something that doesn't blend and then I'm just left with a like But we're gonna do it, let's just do it. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this on this brush and just lightly, mm, I don't like this brush, I can already tell. Yeah, just kidding, we're not gonna use that brush. All right, we're gonna grab another brush and let's mix light contour and medium sculpt and see what we can get going on. I'm just gonna begin pulling it up. You don't wanna drag it down because then it really just kind of defeats the purpose. 
When you use the right brush, that was definitely much better. That other brush was just not doing it for me. And then for my actual blush, I'm gonna use this one from Alme. This is just the Powder Bronzer in Sunkissed. It says bronzer. I feel like it's definitely appropriate though for a blush. And just taking my favorite It Cosmetics blush brush, pick up some of that, do a chase a smile, and begin pulling it back. See, I feel like that is definitely way more of a blush than a bronzer, right? At least for my skin tone. Okay, we're gonna go back into the Hide and Seek palette for our highlighter because these look so nice. Look at those. Bam, bam. And then just taking the Morphe M500, this is like my ultimate favorite. I'm gonna mix this one and this one just because that's a little bit too white. So I think, actually, you know what? Let's just mix all three or even, no, 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 I don't wanna do all four. We're just gonna mix all three. So a little bit of pearl, a little bit of pink, and then a little bit of bronze. And I am just going to apply some of this. Let's see. Yeah, that's nice. I think the pearl would have been too stark white. Let's take a little bit more of the bronze and pink. Now, for my lower lash line, this eyeliner just looked so, so pretty. This is from Maybelline. It's their Lasting Drama Matte Eyeliner in Jade Olive. Oh, ho, ho. doesn't that look beautiful? And it's waterproof. So we are going to use this all over our lower lash line. Apparently, I can't talk and apply eyeliner because I just stabbed myself in the eyeball like four times. I'm going to go back into Let's Do Formation, the like matte army green. And I'm just going to smudge that onto my lower lash line. Ooh, see, using that shadow or the eyeliner, or I guess I should say like eye torture pencil, it just made a really good base for this. Okay, so I did go ahead and pop on some lashes. I'm pretty sure they're just Ardell Demi Wispies. They've been like living in a case. They could be regular wispies, but since I have smaller eyes, I typically stick to demi wispy. So I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Now, for my lips, I pretty much always stick to like a smoky, mauvey nude, but I wanna go kind of dramatic today. I know the eyes are already pretty dramatic, so I should probably play it safe with the lips, but maybe we'll just do two options. If this first one doesn't come off right or come out right, then we'll go ahead and swap it. But I wanna do something really like deep and vampy for fall. I have another J Cat Beauty product. This is the Holy Addiction Pro Define Lip Liner in the shade, uh, oh, maybe I don't know the name. Um, there's, oh, just kidding, 224 Plum. So I'm gonna go ahead and line, oh, that label was really deceiving because that's not plum, that looks like a freaking strawberry. All right, just kidding, let me go grab another lip liner. So now we're gonna go in with red onion, which is, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love red onions, but it's a weird, although now that I look at that, that really is the color of a red onion. Hmm. Good job, J-Cat. Okay, and then for the actual color, I'm gonna go in with one of these Maybelline, what are you called again? It just says lip color, no, but what's, oh, there it is. Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade 85 Protector. So we're gonna take some of this guy. I love the applicator on these because you can get a really nice, precise application. I told y'all, we're going dark. We want something dramatic, but I think, I hope it'll be a pretty combo. I feel like this color just needs a little bit of a sheen to it. So I'm just gonna go in with Maybelline Spicy Sangria and kind of just tap it on the top. That way it isn't so just like meh, chalky and matte looking. Let's make sure we don't have like purple lipstick going down my chin because that would be real cute. But here's the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, I was just craving something a little bit more like sultry and dramatic for fall. It is very dark, not your everyday look, but I think it's fun sometimes to just do something more dramatic. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you do decide to recreate this look, I would love if you tag me on Instagram so I can see all your beautiful faces. Let me know which products are really caught your eyes down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.
I've done blue smoky, blue fancy, but how about something blue and basic? Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you an easy way to wear blue for daytime. So let's begin. I'm starting with eyes, so of course I'm going to prime my lids with the Chanel eyeshadow base and blend it out before going into the Quiet Revolution eyeshadow palette with a Sigma E25 blending brush and picking up that mauve shade. I'm blending this in the crease, inner to outer on both sides, bringing it down slightly on that outer V area. I really want to use this color to define the crease, but to keep it soft. So I'm going to blend over the area with a blank fluffy brush. For the eyelid, I'm simply picking up some highlighter on a flat shader brush and smoothing it over the lid. This is pretty much my daily life hack because it keeps things quick and I usually just use bronzer in the crease. Now once that's applied evenly, I'm going to go back with the mauve eyeshadow to blend out the crease and then with the same brush, I'm going into the deep charcoal eyeshadow. It's not quite black but it's very dark so it's going to give us some dimension in the outer V. I want to keep this look nice and easy so I'm just carefully packing this in the outer crease down the outer lash line just to darken it up a bit. I don't want it to be too dark, just enough to make the lid stand out and pop. And then of course I'll quickly blend over the top to make sure everything is nice and smooth. For now I'm moving on to the face, and by now you must know my routine. I'm priming with the new CC cream by Chanel, or should I say, my new obsession. I just dab a few dots on my face and then blend it out with a duo fiber brush to pick up any excess product. The CC cream is hydrating, it has SPF 50, and it makes sure my skin is nice and smooth and prepped before I go in with foundation which today I'm using my Lancome Tinty Dull. It's one of my holy grail foundations for a flawless face. I think I own about three bottles in different shades so that I always have a perfect match. It's totally excessive yet necessary. And I'm blending this out with a flat top kabuki brush. For concealer, I'm using the Corrector de Chanel. I really like this formula. It's creamy enough, covers enough. It kind of checks all of the boxes for me. So this has been my current go-to concealer. And I'm just blending this out with my tapered kabuki brush from Sigma. I've been switching back and forth between this and then my flat foundation brush from Chanel. No real rhyme or reason here. It just kind of depends on which one is clean. But I really love them both. I grabbed a few of my everyday face products, so I'm going to set my concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder, which this was sent to me complimentary to review from Laura Mercier. The texture is really nice, it's lightweight, never really cakey. It's a great value for the price. I think I've gone through at least two of these powders over the course of several years, so it's just nice to have on hand for any beauty lover. Following suit is the Laura Mercier Baked Bronzing Powder. This was also sent to me complimentary from Laura Mercier. It's very sheer, it's very warm. It's kind of the perfect daily bronzer because you can work fast and the finish is slightly luminous. For blush, I'm using the 440 Quintessence Blush from the Chanel Fall Winter Collection on the apples of my cheeks and then blending it back towards my temples. To me, this shade transcends seasons. It truly is the quintessential blush color. It's great for all skin tones. Going back in now to my Plissé Lumiere de Chanel highlighter. Once again, I'm going to be highlighting my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, the ball of my nose, any high points of the face. And then I'm going to pick up an eye brush so that I can highlight my brow bones and inner corners of both eyes. I love a product that's versatile, so a flesh-toned highlighter is great to have on hand for face and eyes. Picking up the Quiet Revolution eyeshadow palette, I'm going back into that mauve eyeshadow on a tapered brush, and I'm going to buff this underneath the lower lash line, just to bring cohesion to the look overall. My apologies for leaning in too much, I know the footage is nice and blurry. And now for the pop of blue. Using an eyeliner brush, or in my case, a thin brow brush, I'm going to wet the bristles. You can use MAC Fix Plus or any setting spray. I'm going to dip into that blue eyeshadow and begin slowly lining my top lash line. I'm sort of just stamping the brush across my lashes, which gives me a really straight line and makes it pretty fast and easy. Using the eyeshadow wet decreases the likelihood of any fallout and it makes the shadow apply really nice and smooth. 
Once I'm done lining the top lash line, I'm going to stamp this below my lower lash line as well. The blue shadow is perfect as an eyeliner because it's dark enough and yet light enough that you still see a nice, unexpected pop of color. I'm going to go back and thicken the liner on the top just a little bit before I change brushes. Using a true eyeliner brush, I'm going to create a little wing. Now you could absolutely skip this part if winged liner isn't part of your daily makeup routine, but I'm going to wet the bristles as well, and then slowly but surely, I'm going to wing a small line out, starting from the corner of my eye and then angled up towards the tail of my brow, and then I'm just going to connect it back to the lash line and then fill it in on both sides. My apologies again for the blurry footage. I really have to get so close to the mirror these days and I don't even realize it. I am so sorry. Once my liner is complete, I'm going to soften the lower lash line just a little bit by going over this with a tapered eyeshadow brush. I want to buff it out just a little bit, not too much, but just make it nice and soft. Off camera, I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows and I coated my lashes with mascara. So here is a close-up look at the finished eyes. For lipstick, I'm going in first with the Crayon de Couleur Matte in 257 Discretion. You've seen this shade a lot if you regularly watch my videos. It's just a great pink nude. And then I like to keep my lips hydrated, so I'm going to top that off with the Laura Mercier Lip Gloss in Baby Doll. This was sent to me complimentary to review from Laura Mercier and I love it because it's the perfect lip topper over any lipstick shade. I know matte is all of the rage, but I truly hate my lips feeling dry, so I love to use a gloss. And that completes the look! Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this inspires you to use blue eyeshadow in a different way. And of course, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or questions down below. I've linked all of these products down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.